There we go. Looks like we're up and running. Uh, hello, everybody. We'll get back to some more Super Robot Wars 30. So, since last time, I did go and do a bunch of the front missions. And yes, if you do basically all the front missions in a row, they will just start cycling back in in whatever order you took them out in. So, I guess that means endless grinding is on the table if you want to do that. Now, as for what I actually got from that, first up... As you can see, most of our characters are getting pretty close to the 50 mark. Let's just one, two, here we go. Better have one of these. So, allies within commander radius, plus 10% damage dealt, and minus 10% damage taken. That ain't bad. I also got Brights, and his is the, anybody starting in his starting a phase in his uh, skill radius gets plus five morale. Also nice. I also went and got Usos because why not? He was like right there, so he gets plus twenty percent final hit rate, and then he basically gets a double double image effect. Like, the 40% chance to evade any attack, I'm pretty sh- It says it's independent of normal evasion, so I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Like, if an uh, attack would hit him, it rolls again against that 40%, and, well, hit or miss, it determines, like... Wait, what? Anyway, uh, hit or miss, it'll determine if it actually does hit. Why is Ryoma so much of a... It's her to be a, such a higher... I had that strength in everybody else. What the heck? Why is Oz so far down here? I mean, she has like the most skills out of everybody. I did pass out a bunch more guards, instincts, and uh, break uh, morale limits too. And the AOS updates. We're slowly climbing this ladder. Because apparently this is what the game wants for our next uh, AOS mission, apparently. And we also got the ace chats, don't we? Yeah, because that's what this actually is. We finally figured it out. You should think that it means that it that means upgrade all of one category's uh, like I don't know, sections to level 8? That'd be a little bit better. I don't know, I ain't psychic. We had a report that we completed 40 missions outside of those assigned to us by Federation Command. If I made the top brass might be starting to wonder about all these detours we're taking. Well, we're autonomous for a reason. Our own judgment should take priority here, regardless of what Command might think. We'll follow your directives, Captain, all of us. Thank you, XO. Whoa. I like blew out my mic there for a second. What the heck? <laughs> Gangway, XO! Chief Maybe? The Dry Stryker appears to have opinions of its own about the captain's strategy. It's kicked out some new parts for us. Thank you, Chief. Ah. Oh. God. Hold on. Let me try. Let's see. That. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Thank you, Chief. Ah, oh, the Dry Stryker deserves our thanks as well. Let's use the ship's gift to pursue the path we believe in. Oh, I just realized I forgot. As I was grinding before. I actually turned down the sounds and stuff. I have no idea how it's like sounding to you guys. There we go. Now for our slew of pilot points. Dean's finally exceeded 15,000 total PP. Music in my ears, Dan, to mark out a weekend for some serious pilot training. The Dry Stryker's come up with some new part, uh, part design for us, too. I foresee some very interesting possibilities opening up. Go easy on them, Chief. Could you quit acting like I'm some kind of mad scientist? I'd appreciate it. Anyone here deserves to be called mad. So this ship we're on keep prodding us along with the new parts. What do we get? Oh, we got another SP getter. Oh, isn't it strange to call a ship captain an ace pilot? I don't think too hard about it, it's just for convenience sake. 
Not to say, entering the bridge of the Rock Kylum is a bit intimidating. I called it the Nahel Argonaut yesterday, but didn't I? Uh, some of these ships just blur together, I guess. Though if you want to know me better, the first step would be to enter my boat, so to speak. Besides, I was interested in learning more about you myself. Could it be that you think I had the makings of a new type? Actually, it's about my son. I'm terribly concerned about him. I'm not sure what to do. You're about his age, so I thought you might help me figure something out. Oh, I don't think you need my help. Anyone would love to have a great father like you. Also, I don't think I'm being a good father to my children. I'm barely ever there for them. In that case, we just have to finish the war so you can go back home. I'll do what I can to make it happen. Going home. Sometimes we lose sight of what we should be. Uh, what should be obvious. Thank you for reminding me, Oz. He has us some skill. Congratulations, Uso. I heard you made ace. Yeah, I guess I did. I don't seem too pleased about it. Sorry, I think it hasn't quite sunk in for me yet. That makes sense. Just a little while ago, you were as far from this kind of fighting as anyone. Yet now, you're practically made ace overnight. That's incredible. Yeah, the real credit to my mother and father for raising me, right? Yeah, good person, Uso. You've taken all the gifts they gave you and you're using them for what you think is right. As? Uso, just want you to know that I really respect you. Thank you, that's very kind of you. It's a bit flattering, really. You're so good boy. You're so good boy. Thank you too, Haro. You deserve part of the credit for me reaching A status too. I think, um... I think Uso was the first one to actually, like, have the Haros help him out with his, uh, like, managing his mobile suit. Congratulations, Captain. I believe you became an ace pilot, yes? Really, the Dry Stryker's successes are accredited to its entire crew. Still, you are our leader, so I'd like to offer my congratulations. Hold on a minute, Az. Let's all do this together. I all want to congratulate the captain on this great occasion, too. Congratulations, Captain. You come all the way to thanks to you leading us here. Captain, if you weren't our captain, I'd bet I'd given up long ago. Sure, you? What is your job? He's an operator? Okay. And the, she shows up sometimes in the mess hall, too. She is... She's another operator. Okay, I guess we just don't get to see them because Leanne is the only one we really know of. Thank you so much, Captain. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. Captain, everyone here is willing to put their lives in your hands. I am too, of course. Let's both keep doing what we can, the best we can, Captain. You have some accuracy up. Very nice. Alrighty. Oh, God. Time for some more wonderful... <laughs> Jay Decker. Wow, I never knew the ocean was so pretty here in Okinawa. These art romance are in our our <laughs> Please stow the humor just this once, Tamaki. And they bring us to Okinawa now of all times? Might as well serve as a final meal while they're at it. Come on, try and be a little more positive. We should show Commissioner Saijima some appreciation when we see him. Oh, me first. Thank you so much, Grampy Saijima. I wish I actually could go thank him, but I guess Mr. Saijima didn't come out. He was seen around Okinawa yesterday, so he must have something else to do. Yes, it's a busy life being the police commissioner. He's got amazing passion for the work he does. I'm sure he's happy as being busy. Then let's make sure we have enough fun for all the fun he's not having. Yuda, we found you! Kurumi and Azuki? Wait, what are you doing here in Okinawa? Actually, you commissioner Saijima arranged things so that we can invite it too. I'm here as guardian for Azuki and everyone as well. Okay, how old is Azuki for you to be dating her? Wow, Mr. Saijima is so generous. Hey, we're here too, Yuda. Guess we're working, you're working hard to be a good boss, huh? That doesn't mean you can take all of Power Joe's time. Yeah, Power Joe's our friend too, just so you know. Asaki, Kikumaru, and Emiri, you all got invited? This is wonderful, isn't it, Yuta? You should take advantage of the Commissioner's kindness and go play to your heart's content. You bet, let's got the whole build team while we're at it. I'm fighting for so long, it feels like I haven't seen Yuta smile in an eternity. And I suppose the Commissioner must have invited us out of concern for Yuta. Hey, Yuta, let's play some volleyball over here. Oh, but I don't have a swimsuit. 
Well then, let's go buy one. Come on, we're in Okinawa, right? You're right. Okay, Deckard, Yuda, you go on ahead. Got to be that boss. We'll meet up later then. You bet. Let's go swimming once I got a swimsuit. Talking room might be a better uh, might be better of a setup than a talking kaiju. Well, oh, Connie, why are you here in Okinawa? Oh, uh, hey, hey, Rika, it's been forever. I'm here on vacation. Feel like the surprise should be my line. I think we're stealing each other's surprise, really. Well, since we're both here, let's hang out. He'd be getting his group around, too, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Is he gonna wear a swimsuit, Rika? Thought about changing, but I mean, I feel really out of place with Hibiki and everyone. No, oh, you got a robot with you, that figures. No, don't waste his chances. Robots and vacation, a perfect fusion, a slice of life in total unreality. A robot able to touch the heart of a human, the friendship between this boy and this warrior burns hotter than the tropical sun itself. Uh, and you are? Oh, that's Ernie. He He's like us, helping out the EFF. You must be Rika's friend. Nice to meet you. A robot fan, huh? Can't say I understand the appeal, but... It's a man's dream, after all. I know we like different genres, but as fellow fans, I'd hope we might get along. What? Not nah, part of me. You remind me of someone I saw at the shops I went to. That's weird. I've never been to a shop like that in this world. What is with that kid? The beach over there is quite noisy. What enjoyment is found in such chaos? Don't you want to join them? Like, okay, they... I kind of see like what looks maybe like a scabbard on the very bottom left corner of the screen, but they keep talking about him like carrying swords. The secret unit going for a walk on the beach in full view of the world isn't even a good joke. Perhaps you would rather do so. The sudden I don't get along. Why are you two hanging out here when we've come out to Okinawa? We're sunbathing. In the shade? I should ask the same of you. Why not go play on the beach like the young woman ought to? Like a young woman ought to. Well. Did you not purchase a swimsuit with Tamaki and Kay? The thing... How could I ever wear that? Talk about embarrassing. Hmm, you're far more shy than I'd expected. Beyond the horizon, I see a mirage, but I think I'll stay in the shade. A mirage, Kagero. Sorry, I probably brought up some bad memories. Bear no mind, memories are precious even if they have a bitter sting. Memories, huh? Pardon, I fear a dark and dreary group, Kim, but speak of dark and dreary things. I think I shall depart to take a walk, and I perhaps patrol the perimeter. I think Tiny Boss is out in the city anyway. Shadow Maru. Nozaki and the others are awful. Thought we were getting a swimsuit for me, but instead they all went off to do their own shopping. Whatever, I can wait for them. I, I can't wait for them. Gotta get back to Deckard and everyone on the peach. Careless Yuta Tomonaga, walking around without a single escort. Oh no, you're the one behind Dr. Gauss! Exactly, you're as sharp as I'd expected from the boss of the brave. Is his name seriously Victim? Wait, seriously? I didn't think I'd run into you when Decker wasn't around. You'll regret letting the son of Okinawa make you careless. You'll be the perfect bait to lure the brave police into my trap. You're not gonna have a chance. I'll call Decker and you'll be done for. <laughs> oh, but can you? Return of the Mirage. I wonder who's returning. Yeah, this is like basically our reward for the Kagero uh, secret. Oh, would you respond to my call, Decker? Don't tell me he's playing, still playing on the beach. Your calls are fruitless. The dry crews will be tied up by separate unit. I arranged in advance. Why well, you had this all planned out, didn't you? Oh no, those ominously moving squares? Stay away from me! <laughs> Looking at you like this, you're no different from any regular child, hmm? That's... Are you okay, tiny boss? Shadow Mari, where's everyone else? For better or worse, I was patrolling alone, which is why I was able to get here in time. That brave police built with cir covert circuits. You won't be enough to stop me. How do you have so many robots ready for this? I shall delay them. Tiny Boss, escape now! Alright, you be careful, Shadow Maru. You chose to run away in the chaos, Yuta Tomonaga, but a single ninja robot can't hope to stop my forces. I am even I am more than able to rise to the moment, even if I live in the shadows normally. How confident you'll rise to the heavens shortly, then I'll go capture Yuta Tomonaga. 
I would be amused to see you try, but I suggest you prepare for failure. Why would I run away, game? Come on. Pretty sure with focus we'll basically be fine. I put my pride on the line. I have to succeed here. Kagura would laugh if I were to give up against simple odds like these. Oh, right. Of while grinding, I went and set it to the quicker animation thing like that. Though I guess with this fight, we're basically going to see the exact same animation over and over. Nice. Yeah, he's a little bit behind in levels. You didn't kill them. Oh, that one's completely ammo based. Of course, it would be. Eh, it's almost capable of two shotting these guys. I swear they really love the fake Gao Guy guards as enemies. I remember them showing up a lot over in T. is helping him catch up pretty quick. Yeah, everything's level 31. Although admittedly, like, the farther you go into the game, the less levels really mean outside of, you know, what, well, well your spirits and the unique passives that level up. Because, I mean, getting plus one or two to stats that are already over like 200 or something really doesn't change the balance that much Third machine down, you ought not underestimate my abilities. So you do have some fight in you. Yes, I didn't respect you as I should have. I'll make amends by letting you face my full force before I crush you. Sadly, I believe your time has run out. Alrighty. Somebody let the Ikaruga get. Fairly low on the kill count. The dry cruise! You're late, everyone. You were too wrapped up playing on the beach, I should think. Sorry, Shadow Maru. Is Yuta okay? You evacuated from the combat area, so we should be fine. All thanks to me never slacking my duty even at a resort. You really gotta rub that salt in there, huh? We don't have time for banter. Engage the robot army forces first. I know, I know, now that we're here, they're done for. 
So you're here in full force, but all that means I'll just have to f face you head on and win. How dare you ruin one of our few chances to rest! You're gonna pay big time for spoiling my chances for hot guys. I really don't think you're fighting for the right thing here. Not much of a hero. Come on, everyone. Let's round up these enemies and keep the city and you to safe. That's still the enemy turn. Oh, hey, his brave police went up. Gotta say, victim, your full force really isn't all that good. <laughs> And let's face it, he's currently outnumbered. That one's full health. Oh well, no kill for Kaido, I guess. Gotta let J Decker get a kill on his mission, right? If I don't think we go this badly, I wouldn't have gone with Yuta on a shopping trick. Focus, Decker, I'm just fine. Yuta, stop fretting about what happened. Get past it and do your best. Roger, I'll put everything I've gotten to the here and now. Gotta love that big ass uh, command AOE. It really helps out for that that uh, passive morale bonus thing he's got. <laughs> yeah, everybody is actually in the range of it. Very good, everyone. If you come a bit earlier, I should say it was a perfect performance. Damn, the worst part is he's right. We were to well, we were totally messing around. Can I sure hope you evacuated? What you don't see is that I've won. I know where Yuta Tomonaga is now. Go, capture Yuta Tomonaga. Yeah, back up in reserve? Ah, darn, you really plan for everything. No, no, stay away. Yuta! Listen closely, brave police. Your boss is in my possession. If you want me to release Yuta Tomonaga, then you'll hand over J. Decker's super AI. J. Decker, don't do what he says. Damn, if I had made protecting Tony Boss my first mission instead of fighting the enemy, there's only one option then. Shadow Maru, you can't go in alone? I know, but I can't stand to see someone I care about disappear ever again. So you chose to charge in alone. Fine, then let me show you just how powerless you are. Shadow Maru! 
The Abyss Guard is a mass-produced version of the robot that was your prototype. So tell me, how does it feel to be scrapped by your brother's technique? His techniques were nothing like this. He struck with far more force, far more finesse. Shadow Maru! Don't speak with such a sad voice. You are our boss, are you not? But it is our duty to protect you, tiny boss. The duty is what we live for. That's why I fulfill my duty and live on for that duty too. For Kagero's sake, who taught me this lesson. Indeed, Shadow Maru. Death is not the end of all things. True duty is not to die for duty, but to live for it. No way! You're... Kagero, you're alive? I am as you see, Shadow Maru. Nothing more, nothing less. Now that I'm here, evil shall not have its way. What? You're so fast, as fast as Shadow Maru. Kagero, really is you. Was he destroyed in the Battle of Kanazawa? Allow me to explain. Saitama and Toto? Uh, Kagero's body was critically damaged the super air that drives it did not meet its end. Therefore, we built a new body for Kagero and had him undergo a rehabilitation here on Okinawa. Yes, so he can once again live as a brave police. I was going to say all that. Well, it's as you heard. You didn't come to Okinawa for just a vacation. Wait, really? That's amazing. You really knocked it out of the park with this one, Commissioner Saijima. So I'm not just seeing a hallucination brought on by the Okinawa sun. You become much more round about in your speech, haven't you, Shadow Maru? Kagero, you become a new member of the Brave Police then. I've committed crimes, heinous ones. That's normally not something that ought to be overlooked. But in my dying moments, I found a heart of justice. Or to say another way, I learned the reason I was born. I wish to live as that heart commanded, to make amends for my crimes and fight to protect the happiness and peace of all people. Kagero! Boss, your orders. If you order me to die, I promise you I shall see the enemy die with me. No, Kagero, that's not okay. You said it yourself. Once you die, it's all over. So live. Live and fight for justice with Shadow Maru and everyone else. Thank you very much, boss. I will remember that. Let's come to this. I'll have to grab you to Tomonaga. Not so fast. That's how much you're willing to give, Kagero. Match my moves. Gladly, Shadow Maru. Just make sure you're the one who doesn't slow me down. Oh, do they actually get a team up attack? Yep. Of course they had to finish it like that. It's classic. They're pretty good. That was the perfect combination attack. They're both incredible. You remind me of Volfog. The combo attack unlocked by trust and understanding. What a perfect moment. Damn it all, my plan is in tatters. Shadamaru Kagero! You're safe now, tiny boss. Boss, take this chance to get to the Dry Striker. Director Sajima and everyone else. Might fight hard, you two. Is so Kagero still alive, huh? What's this Heart of Justice junk all about, though? I gave him some advice so he wouldn't have to suffer, too. I think all this crazy nonsense for himself, even though he's just someone else's creation. It's ridiculous. Alexis, do it. Oh, oh goodness me. Sounds like today we'll have quite the kaiju, won't we? Don't really like robots much at all, but this is the kind of thing that's perfect for a robot to fight, right? You know, if it's overcome its weakness, so it'll be a real handful. And let's see it. Instant abrogation. You're up too, Auntie. Of course, this is my mission. Now see, you understand. Creations ought to just listen to the words of their creators. Okay, man, today I'll finally defeat you. Oh, come on, the copycat guy again. I keep telling you, you're never going to win. I mean, Grimman isn't even out. He's not the only one. That kaiju with the mechanical body is here, too. Go, robot kaiju. Go beat the snot out of Kagero and Gridman. Huh. Guess kaiju can show up in Okinawa, even. Whenever kaiju appear, we have to fight them. We must face power with power. Exactly. Power without justice is violent, but justice without power is powerless. Let's go, Kagero. Let's make your first mission of victory. I'm glad for you, Shadow Maru. That's right. Even in the shade, you can find flowers that bloom. And it's still the bad guy's turn. Uh-oh. So Kagura has realized the value of justice and bravery. Yeah, so bravery summons bravery in others, after all. Let's back them up. It's comrades bound by bravery.
sure, go for her and you see what I get ya. Marker with this heart you revealed to me, I will fight beside you. We are alive right now. As long as we have life, we will fight together. That wasn't called for. It was just plain rude. Let's face it, at this point, Shadow Maru basically has the highest morale out of everybody. Hopefully, he doesn't go and get hit, though. He got hit on a 19%. What does he have? Okay, I will admit his stats are a bit low. I don't need forgiveness from anyone else. I will offer my life for peace until I earn forgiveness for myself. It's time to go, for today all my real battle begins. Oh, we do have enough for another focus, okay. Thank you for moving these guys right directly next to all the bad guys game. Okay. You two run away, thank you very much. You are a lose condition. So he's got... Oh, he's got the after image. Ah, fairly standard spirit set too. That's what the Okay, yeah, that's what Shadow is. Is he even active on him yet? Oh no, he's at 160 morale, so yeah. Alright, that one's not post movement. Up the game again. Can't tell. Yeah. Here comes Ryoma to ruin your day. <laughs> You can 
No, she can actually reach with this move. Too far away from most of our dudes. Oh good. <laughs> like, can Ernie actually hit anybody from there? Alright, dude. Yeah, you do that. How's that? Discount Gundam? What are you talking about, Discount Gundam? We got the Gundams right here. Oh, whoa, that was the new guy. Yeah, I think the boss is worthy of butting out hell and heaven there. <laughs> Look, I know. How are you doing, Rover? We're about to Kano this son of a bitch. He didn't take that much damage at all. This guy really doesn't have anything special to him, does he? Don't know why she thought that would actually handle our team, but eh. Doing all right. Today is my Friday since I have a three-day weekend, so that's good. Also having fun blowing stuff with the, with Gundams. And that one was actually a Gundam. Now this one's more of a knockoff gun than I'd say. <laughs> huh. I had him dead to rights too! Curse of Bray Police, next time things will be different! Wait! Shadow Maru Kagura, can you catch him? My apologies, I've lost him. 
That man, what is it that drives him to fight the Bray police? Now he can't hit us. You're right, you missed a giant freaking airship or spaceship. Should we give the kill to? I guess Tetsuya hasn't gotten a kill this mission. Damn it, double burning fire. Why aren't you post movement? Come on, really? HP, really? Son of a bitch. All right then, Camille, you get in here. There we go. You're tricked into watching the animes? Which, uh, anime, <coughs> anime were you tricked into watching? Why, why can't I beat Gridman? You weren't even fighting Gridman. You're human, why are you attacking Gridman? Shut up, I do it because it's my, my mission. Oh, you're like in April. I'm sure that's all it's about, and will not try to punch you in the feels. Totally not. Lost again. Maybe that thing's just a failure. No <laughs> one told me there'd be tears. <laughs> Yeah, that's usually how your lie in April ends with people. Now, Kane knows how to use the drill, apparently.
Oh wait, he's already gone. Blips. You got a funny if you actually had the double header of both your lie in April and Anohana. Well, it was strengthened, so it had better be strong, I guess? Well, for I came all the way out to Okinawa, even putting up with this awful heat. You know what? I really hate robots. Alright, we took out all the robots and the kaiju. Let's get back to vacation! Sorry, but we're out of time. The sun's setting. More importantly, though... Kagero, never thought the day would come when we fight together. I don't think this one fight is enough to make amends for what I've done still, though. As long as you're alive, you can still keep making things right. Isn't that so? Yes. Yes, go for the full heartbreak. Shadomaru, Kagero, come on home. Everyone's waiting for you. Everyone? Yes, everyone. You become a member of the Dry Cruise today. And I, Link. Saijima, why didn't you tell anyone that Kagero was alive? You could have at least made sure Shadomaru knew. I'm sorry, everyone. A great deal went into this decision. The fact remains that Kagero is a criminal. His return to the Brave Police will face no small amount of opposition. In fact, I'm part of the opposition, even now. Oh, really, Azuma? I suppose the moisture in your eyes when Kagero and Shadomaru did their combination attack was just allergies then? No such thing happened at all! Well, really, keep everything with <coughs> Kagero under rats was just Saijima's normal sickness. He's sick? Yeah, he's sick. He loves moving ahead with things in secret so he gets to surprise people later. Absolute surprise addict. Well, he was successful enough that even my covert circuits couldn't hide my surprise. What, are your circuits suffering a malfunction? Kagero, that was what we call a joke. A joke? Comedy. A form of humor. Shadowmaru, you must be getting lazy if you're saying such things. I prefer to say my super AI has been refined the time. After all, I've learned a lot here with the Dry Crews. Kagero, you're part of the Dry Crews too now. Everyone get along now. Of course we are. Come on, everyone. Let's welcome Kagero. Good to have you, Kagero. I'm excited to see what you and Shadowmaru can do together. I'll work on improving that super AI of yours, just like we did with Shadow Mario. Of course, we got plenty of Tijibon fighting stuff, too. Thank you, all of you. Isn't that great, Shadow Mario? Well, that doesn't mean, does mean another member in our team that belongs in the shadows. You don't belong anywhere unless it's where you want to be. Come on, Shadow Mario, come hang with us a bit. Seems like the Drykus will be leaving Okinawa tomorrow evening. In other words, we got plenty of time tomorrow morning for a Bray Police Volleyball Tournament. Oh god, how much damage would a giant robot volleyball tournament cause? Shadow Maru, don't you dare try to slack off and miss this. You got a new partner in Kagura to do right by. You're not escaping this one. Well, trust me, there's nothing like a cold oil can beneath the tropical sun. Shadow Maru, I think we best resign ourselves to this Kagura. Even covert circuits won't let us sneak away from this one. Then I'll be the referee. Good luck, everyone. Copy that, boss. Good, Kagero, you've got a lot to learn. Uh, you got a lot you can learn here. It all draw you closer to the goal that the heart of justice you've awakened is reaching towards. Now walk together until we reach that goal, partner. It looks like Ernie got the most skills there. Then again, I did kind of put him out, uh, out in front. Seriously, he dodged tanks like no other. Uh, looks, looks like Char is required for both of these. I wonder if we'll actually get any kind of an upgrade for Char, finally. So why is the Dry, Cru uh, dry Cruise heading to Dakar? I guess we'll find out at the briefing coming up. Dakar is where the Earth Federation Government Central Assembly is held, right? That's right, basically serves as the Earth Federation's capital. You know anything about our trip to Dakar, Le Leanne? Well, apparently it was Lieutenant Quattro who tipped us off to something here. Lieutenant Quattro? It's coming from him. It's got to be pretty shady. Maybe it's something from Louis and Co. They're the ones who sent him to the Dry Cruise. 
Antonyon, have you heard anything from Michelle about this? No, not really. For the way she looked, I don't think she knows any more than we do. Maybe that means Captain Quadro has other intel sources besides Luio and Co. There's still old Principality Arizion remnants lurking in Africa after their landing on Earth during the One Year War. Do they think they'll launch a terrorist attack or something? It's entirely possible. I have no idea how Lieutenant Quattro would find out about that, though. Camille, don't worry, Fa. He never acts without a reason. Lieutenant Quattro, I still don't know what you're trying to achieve. Hey, maybe we'll find the Zeta Gundam here. The diversion on the outskirts have begun. Everyone move in and take over the assembly bill. Oh, good God, look at those old Xeon units. Commander, mobile suit inbound! The old mobile suit, it can't be! Soldiers of Xeon, leave this place. I am Quattro Bajina, the man who was once Shar Asnabel. Captain Shar? Looks like our brethren were right. You've turned your back on Xeon on the space noise to be a Federation lapdog instead. Say whatever else you want about me, but please believe me when I say that I have not betrayed the space noise. Now you're trying to make excuses? Call off the soldiers. Trying this kind of stunt again won't change the world. Humanity's first priority should be escaping the crisis we currently face. He spent ten years long, lying low, waiting for this glorious moment. You won't break a resolve that easily. If you think your words mean anything to us now, then you really aren't Captain Char anymore. All units, commence attack. Destroy the fallen red comet and let the world mark this as the day that Dakar and the Federation fell. I suppose I've got no choice. I'll have to stop you then. That's the duty I've been given. Good God, yeah, it's good old Zagox. These are freaking, uh, like, whoops. These are freaking, like, original Gundam units. Oh, hey, Ragda, and yeah, Rip Red 5 for now. He's still MIA due to the bugs. Apparently, but I don't have any of those missions available, so... The long Megabusters condenser has been swapped out for a higher capacity one. This should let me fire with greater output than ever before. Wait, what? When did that happen? I also have a few other issues with <laughs> with the game after the DLC. Like, for instance, I can't actually close this game. Like, the window closes, but the game thinks it's... I mean, not the game. The computer still thinks it's running and doing everything stuff in the background. And because of that, stuff like, um... Uh, like, going into sleep mode doesn't work at night. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, wait, I guess I didn't need to use the beam cannon. Their one-year war still is over. Does that war still rage on for all space noids? Really, all y'all so far away, you can't even really join in together? I forgot that for some reason he doesn't actually get freaking focus. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm getting Brilliant Diamond, too. Good old double kills. Now there's only five left. We don't really need more people to help us out in this mission, do we? Just char soling everything. <laughs> Oh, 
I was gonna choose the water starter regardless because it's an awesome penguin. Yakushiki Kai has been overhauled to fight large numbers on its own. Thanks for that espionage. All under not, he's still the right comment. He's good, but. Oh no, Giridogas. You came, comrades. Call it happy feet. <laughs> Sorry we're late. They see news now. Remnants were behind this after all. What do you know anyway? Whose fault do you think it is that we sunk to terrorism? You can't even argue, can you? Don't make me laugh, you fallen red comet. And the thing I say now is any chance of convincing you to stop what you're doing, so I'll stop you by force. If it takes my life, so be it. That's highly unlikely. I was just like... Hmm. He's starting to get kind of low on energy, so I guess we'll just swap to the bean cannon then. Wait, the bean cannon can shoot... Can kill him in one hit, too. Wait, wasn't that an old quote from the original Gundam about Zeon fighting for a decade? People fighting for a decade? You do know it's been a lot longer than that, dude, right? And this game has V stuff going on, and, and Char and Amuro should be long dead by then. I swear I'm gonna get Char his ace bonus in this fight. What's he up to now? Yeah, 57, he only needs three more kills. Alright, look who it is. Definitely gotta get the Ikaruga up to 50 kills. Yeah, it's been a while since we let Gridman out to play. Five more. Yeah, I go with that. Oh, yeah, damn it. Of course I see that after I pick everybody. The dry crews. You take care of the divisionary teams. All that's left are the enemies here. Sorry, Captain. You indulged my selfish request, but I still couldn't stop them. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? We'll have to resort to force as well, then. It's unavoidable, I'm afraid. He's fighting this many enemies all by himself? I knew it was good, but this really shows how resolved he was about this. It was the goddamn idiot Char trying to solve this whole thing by himself? Is that his idea of atonement? Fighting all alone with no regard for the danger. Char, what's the point of you doing that? All you is back up Lieutenant Quattro and intercept the terrorists. That's all I can do for now. Of course, it's still the bad guy turn. Eject, your machine can't take any more punishment. Machine's not the only thing at its limit. Our spirits are too. What? Of course, we know terrorist acts like these won't change the world. That's all we had. These feelings are what carried us through our lives. Sure, Azabel. I'd hoped that your speech at the car on that day would change something. I'm sorry. If you're really sorry, then make it worth something. I don't care about Zeon or the Federation. Change the world, please. Finally, I actually died. I'm sorry. Right now, I can only... Be able to actually finish getting his kills here. This is kind of weird. I hardly ever really use Char, and yet I've gotten so many kills on him. Yep, there we go. Oh, he can't one shot him. Okay, then. Tamaki should be perfect for, like, softening up one of them for him. Come on. 
Dang it, sometimes it doesn't register me hitting down. That guy, we need a smack. Yeah, she doesn't really have much in the way of of uh, defensive spirits outside of intuition. Sweet Jesus, how much collateral damage is she causing with that laser light show? Really? You actually got hit, Tamaki. Disappointing. The fight they fight on alone without joining the Republic forces. And sending this battle the only thing I can do for them. <laughs> Plus 15 skill, plus 50% final hit rate, and plus one move. Uh, why'd it have to be hit rate? That's like the lamest upgrade you can get. She can't hit anybody there. Usually he gets like a bonus new type level. And a boatload of skill too. Wait, that's not gonna be a kill? Holy crap! What are you doing, Vaughn? Come on, bro! Yes, the plus one move is definitely nice. Let's say so the new type level would have been a much bigger upgrade. <laughs> Ernie, go out and play. It's been quite a while since those seen have uh, those three have been in the series. Oh come on, really? What were they in? I know King Gainer was in Z. Yeah, it was in Z. Weren't uh, uh, God and R and Ixer in uh, uh, Brain K? Holy crap. The old game can hit some. Am I getting K and L mixed up, maybe? I don't know. Well, 
Wasn't Lime Barrels of Iron in the uh, the 3DS one that had Hatsune Miku in it? Very nice. Uh, Suzaku's just gonna dodge tank all these guys, isn't he? Was a uh, UX? I think it was it was with flying barrel. Do you even need to use fin funnels here, dude? Just beam saber his ass. Sure, do you intend to simply die in a blaze of glory to atone for your crimes and death? It is, I'm disappointed. How can you think your war is so solitary? I don't think you'd have just killed a man. Think about it. Ah, I thought I might be able to actually use his freaking map attack for once. Oh. This time, don't get hit, Tamaki. Seriously, how many of the buildings in this area are being wrecked by that attack? That's one way to describe that attack, yes. The terrorists have been wiped out, then combat in the surrounding areas appears to have ceased. They'll probably beef up security in Dakar after this. Now, so the enemy will ramp up their offensive, escalating the fight further. They question whether these methods are the right way to handle this. Ma'am? I'm just talking to myself, forget I said anything. That's a hell of a stunt, you pulled, Char. Sounds like you got permission from Commander Mitsuba for it, but how were you going to take responsibility if they'd broken past you? Your point is well taken. I think we can let this one go, Amuro. Captain Mitsuba positioned forces in case that happened. One last thing, Char. The path you're going down is just going to lead to a second axis drop. I'll remember that. I know you're trying to carry out your duty, but as long as that means fighting Sola, you'll never be able to change, Char.
Thank you, Astonage. Your overhaul, the Yakushiki Kai, helped carry me through that fight. I'm glad to hear it, but... Yes, it's just between you and me, but... It's Camille that put in the overhaul request, the Yakushiki. Camille? You said that since you were trying to carry everything alone, your suit should reflect that. Sure wasn't expecting you to go up against that whole band of terrorists alone, though. I see. Camille said something else, too. He said that the car was a place that had a lot of important memories for you, so we thought you were planning on doing something here. He was that far ahead of me, huh? Thank you, Camille. To think that Camille was paying more attention to him than me. I'm still angry with Char even now, but I'm not about to invalidate everything he does. Please, Char, don't betray my expectations this time, or Camille's. The captain appears to have successfully prevented the terrorist attack, milady. This will represent a loss of most of the firepower that the Neo Zeon remnants on Earth had at their disposal. We placed a great burden on him yet again. That's what the captain wants. If that attack had succeeded, the fighting between Space Noids and Earth Noids would have become a quagmire. I still have yet to find any hope of reconciling reconciliation between the two sides. If this chaos continues, the world will be. You're not the only one grasping at straws while moving forward, milady. The captain is doing much the same. Your Excellency, let us focus on doing our part so that the captain does not fight in vain. Thank you, Nanai. Please send Char my regards. Why did they show her face in shadow like we didn't know who that was? Take care of yourself as well, milady. So where's Bonager? Man must move on into the future. The hopes of man that which, uh, which entrusted the future to Laplace's box must not be in vain. To that end, Char and I both continue fighting. And man must take the time to reconsider what we should be. But the significance of new types is... And of course, Char got the freaking mission A's for that. And of course, now we have his ace chat. Congratulations, Lieutenant Quadra. I heard you made ace pilot. I'm a man who's not supposed to exist. I don't qualify for such a title in any way. I ask you a question, Lieutenant. Go ahead, can't guarantee I'll be able to answer though. What will you be doing once the war is over? I'm afraid I haven't thought that far ahead. Is it because you don't see an end to the fighting? No, that's not what I mean. However, war isn't going to disappear forever, even once we bring peace back to our world. That is why I'm going to need to continue to face as Quattro Bagina. Are you just going to be fighting until the day you die in battle, but that's... Don't feel sorry for me. I'm a man who spent his entire life on the battlefield. Nothing more, nothing less. But you're different, Oz. Always live with hope and try not to end up like me. Understand, Lieutenant, I'll never forget that. Of course he gives a skill up. What else would he give? And now we have the return of the Red Comet. This might be one of the missions for getting Katagina's secret. Oh, oh, are you asking me to sort you this time? Yes. We suffered our second defeat now following Londonian, and on top of that, this time we lost with the Phoenix right in front of us. I get the feeling you don't want to send that report back home. You're absolutely correct. Great, glad we agree. It's the CEO's job to clean up after his subordinates' mess, after all. The dry crews, guess I'll see what they've got for myself. You hold the forward on the ship, Lieutenant. Don't worry, I'll bring back some good news. I need to do this, but sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. You have big red comments, you better live up to your bragging. Good work, Ensign Yona. That will complete today's simulation training regimen. How did I do? You got a B plus above average performance. All right, what do you think of Yona's skills? I think the similar results are accurate. He's still above average, but no more than that. He isn't bad, but he's not really good enough to be one of the Dry Cruise's aces, is he? Not yet, anyway. You think he's got room to grow? He certainly has the will to improve. If he follows the right path, he could become a completely different pilot in person. Antonietta, would you like someone to train with? That'd be great, Uso. Would you mind running a practice battle with me? Antonietta is so desperate to pursue the Phoenix because of something related to a dear old friend from his childhood. Can't help but want to help him after a story like that. Once you're done again to do so, the Shrike team is here to give you a challenge. Not really, y'all kinda suck. Nice patch. Wait, what do you mean nice patch? 
You're gonna be run ragged against us, you know. We've got the numbers advantage. Sounds perfect. We'll do it in rapid succession. All right, then. If you could get through the strike team, I'll be your opponent after that. Uh, Hyoma, Commander V, and a mobile suit are a bit too different in size. I don't know if a one-on-one... -on -one... Hey, who knows? There's some real big mobile armors out there, right? Skip practice in case you get us to fight one of those. Thank you, Hyoma. I'll be glad to take you up on that. Someone around to help me accomplish something. I haven't had anything like this since I was a child. Lieutenant Quattro, would you like to help with Dunt and Yona's training? I was just about to ask myself. You go on ahead. He refused to have anything to do with me, I'm sure. And to Nyona, all the miracle children had their lives warped by that colony drop. Keep bringing that up. Have they actually said what that means? Oh, right, the three kids who apparently predicted the Xeon colony drop. <laughs> so, you believe he wouldn't want help from the former Red Comet of Xeon? Exactly. I don't think Ensign Yona thinks like that. Yona is so focused on what is in front of him here and now that I don't think he has time to spend on the past. You're observing for such a young girl, especially as I suspect you carry no small burden from your past yourself. I don't live in the moment as, a whole heart as wholeheartedly as Enten Yona. I apologize, I had no right to pry into your thoughts. You also have my gratitude, thank you for speaking to someone like me. Oh no, spider sense is tingling! What's wrong, Lieutenant? There's something terrible coming. Return of the Red Comet. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to have to, like, you know, do solo stuff for a bit before we actually brought in everybody else. Um... Oh, damn it! As soon as you spoke, I realized what I, how I screwed up. <laughs> I hardly expect to find an enemy the moment we set out on patrol. This acacia must not be a coincidence. So you're saying, it's highly possible the enemy is deliberately targeting us. And Senyona, I believe you request to deploy on this mission. On a live, live up to the hopes of all the people helping me train. As long as you hold the thought close, I'm sure you will become stronger. I gather you also volunteered, Lieutenant. It seems I need to settle things personally with the foe we're about to face. To settle things? Here they come. It's a Xeon unit! That's one flashy suit they got on their team. Is that their command unit? Well then, let's get going! He's fast! We got a hit in the databanks! That white mobile suit is a Sinanju type! The Sinanju? That's a suit that was piloted by Supreme Leader Full Frontal in the Third Neo Xeon War! So whoever's plot piloting that thing's in the same class as the Supreme Leader? Hello, hello, my dear new friends in the Dry Crews. I'm Lieutenant Zoltan Akinen. He's broadcasting on an open channel. Gotta say, it's a real thrill meeting an all-star lineup like yours. You were real sporting with my subordinate, too. Which is why I'm happy to help provide you a test, see if you can overcome me. He's treating us like a joke. That means fighting us was more of a game than anything else. Oh, my dear treasure comrades, you tend to hide behind your commander like cowards. And have room for what is dressed like that in my team. Did the enemy morale just jump? That punk actually scared him, huh? He's not even encouraging them. That was just a straight-up threat. He's dangerous. Too dangerous. I have a feeling that he has a potential to destroy the world. Now my team cleared the path for me. What should I do, hmm? I'm curious about the Gundam. I think I'll hit that gold suit first. It's downs out, after all. That's a non pilot. That means it's my duty to face him. So in other words, he... No, from that hint... He is guaranteed to just head straight for Char. Ooh, Cyber New pot Type level 7. Yee. That's gonna be a pain. He's already got Instinct level 2 up and running. Fun! And looks like the rest of his stuff is pretty standard Gundam fare. Oh good, then my plan was a success that. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, 
Yuma is pretty. S oh no, wait, Yuma actually has XL. Whoops. Trying to gra grab our slower guys with that. Oh, look at that. We're already in the boss's face. Uh, what was the... Oh, the fight ends if we kill him. That means we have to hold off for now. Pretty sure we could just wipe him out pretty quickly if we wanted. Good luck trying to hit him. Oh, he can save it as an Anjo if you wanted. Don't think about it. Does this? Yeah, it does have the beam code. I can't remember if it did or not. Oh wait, we don't want Char shooting anything down. We'll just have him hang near the ships for the bonus evade and stuff. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, not gonna bother doing that. All of my dudes are capable of basically two-shotting any of the Xeonya- Oh, whoops. Time for Ryoma to be Ryoma. Come on, Tetsuya, let's uh, see your horrible sword attack. Seriously, that animation. Yo-yos. Beaten by yo-yos. Too far out here. Oh. <laughs> hey, Amro can actually get a non hundred percent hit odds against him from the Sinanju Stein. Yep, figured.
You'll decorate the scrappy nicely, Golden. You can't possibly think you'll hit me with that. What? These moves? You can't be. Unlikely. Okay, Cabaler V can just one shot, dudes. How long are you guys gonna talk after getting hit there? That did almost exact damage. And then, of course, we got Ryoma over here. Hey, we're almost almost at 50. And you guys just keep coming at Combatler. It's gonna take like two more turns for me to actually finish off most of the other guys. One for him to like hit here. Oh. Yeah, it's getting a little extra XP there. Hang on, maybe I actually should have had someone pick up Sakura there. Oops. Oh, she can hit the boss. Yeah, uh, no, not with them odds. Ernie's, I swear. Hmm. I wonder. No way! <laughs> she can't one shot with Sapphire Whirlwind. Zoomy get frickin' ice blades back. Yeah, pretty much. I uh, wonder what Ernie's odds are up against the freaking OP boss guy over here with his crazy dodges and all that.
Take this guy. It does indeed. Grand Dasher is really just the world's most elaborate headbutt. Count on Koji. Just leaves us with the Sananju Stein and the two guys way too far away for us to really hit well. <laughs> He's actually dead even with the Sananju. Interestingly enough. Your maneuvers, you must be Amber Ray! He knows who I am? Of course I do, your name, and your gun number are symbols of hate to Zeon. It's my mission to be the one to end you. Unlikely. I think I will. Oh, then, oh, I know you. I know how you move. I saw a little too much of you fighting ba of you back at the lab. They were commanding me to fight just like that. It's you, Shar Shar. As the bell, aren't you? Where are you going, Shar? Shar! Who are you of all people to run and cower when pointed out? Oh, how far you've fallen, Shar! That hardly matters. You're chosen to live in shame after everything you did and became an Urthnoid pet yet again. You've fallen as far as there is to go already. Say what you like. I will only say one thing in return. The world has no more need for the Red Comet. You think you can just walk in and invalidate my entire existence on the return of the Red Comet? I'll say once more. The world has no more need for the Red Comet. I don't think for a moment that the future can be made by anyone possessed by the ruins of the past. Oh, screw you! Fine, I'll validate my own damn existence! I'll shoot down the Red Comet, hunt the Phoenix, and prove I am the true Red Comet! Shar Azabel, you will be a sacrifice for my glory! Out of my way, unless you got a death wish, Gundam! I have something I need to do. I will not die here! And Senyona, Lieutenant Quattro, I think I misunderstood you. I thought you were fighting for atonement in some way, but you're looking further ahead than that, aren't you? You ought not think too much of me. I'm just a criminal. However, it was exactly the people who want so much for me that I wish that wish for the return of the Red Comet. That's right, and for that came full frontal in me. That's why I have to prove that my existence means something. Your self-absorbed attitude isn't worth my time. Uh, okay? I know we're just going back into position. You dare run from me, sure? I'm not going anywhere. If you want to fight me, then come. <laughs> all right, then. Why is he all the way back there now? You know what? I almost fell for those lame taunts, but I've got a job to do as a unit commander. And part of that job, I'm going to end you, Char. Okay, then. I don't know why he moved there exactly, but all right. He only has 
is a 39% chance to hit Char there. It's a dude being crazy. Oh, Shara Astonbell, I'm thrilled I finally get to see you in person! You're the perfect way to prove to the world I exist! Another victim bound to the Red Comet falls to me to pay off that karmic debt. <laughs> and he missed! Congratulations, dude, you failed. I want to give this guy to Sakura. Aw, oh, we don't have the morale to use high mobility attack. Aww. Doubtful. I have no doubt that Ernie would actually learn the entire specs of every robot in the universe. There's Echo again. Oh. Son of a bitch. They even turned down my mic and stuff. Uh. I'm hoping to finally get freaking uh, replacement headphones so I can actually use them when streaming from my computer again. Thank Ernie. Oh, great. Damn it, Ernie. Oh, you are so dead, dude. What's he have? Yeah, he's got potential, of course he does. Why wouldn't he have that crap? About to say, can we actually finish him with Yona? He actually has pretty good hit odds here. Oh, I hope you wanted to make me mad, Gundam, because you sure did. You gave me a reason to fa you, face you too. Oh, really? I guess that makes sense. The right comment is fated to be opposed by a Gundam, I suppose. Very nice. You scumbags! Whatever. I said my hellos. Guess I can duck out for today. Zoltan Akinen. We'll meet again, Char. Oh, and you too, Gundam. You'll pay for getting in my way. I'll be back for your head! Sion is retreating. I think that commander definitely has us marked as his target. That's not all either. He's also chasing the Phoenix. The Phoenix. I'll have to fight him if I'm going to see Rita. The Return of the Red Comet. Seems the name of Shar Aznabel has gained a life of its own amongst space noids. Some even project their own ideals onto it as something to hold blind faith in. The man was made to be the vessel for those hopes, that faith, huh? I understand the head of the sleeves, full frontal was much the same. Though frankly, that man, that Zoltan Akinen, is hardly even trying to be the vessel people want. Where'd you hear that, Lieutenant? Pardon me, I can't reveal that. So then why did you choose to talk to me about this? Because he isn't just targeting me, he's clearly got his sights on you too. More than anything, if you intend to chase the Phoenix, you will inevitably have to face him. Can I really hope to beat him? I can't say. What I can say is that people who have something they strive to accomplish can grow strong. It's not a thing I strive to accomplish. Not duty, no responsibility. It has to be something born out of your own will. I know it's someone who endured impossibly heavy pressures and still fought on to see their goals come to fruition. You believe I can be like them? That's all up to you. If you want to become stronger, then you have a wealth of people who are happy to help. You should rely on them. Then would you be willing to help, Lieutenant? You want my help? The man is emulating the way you fight on some level, so very well, I'll do whatever I can. 
Although, Lieutenant, I can also understand if you want to be the one to sell things to Zoltan Akinen. Your consideration is unnecessary. You have your own battle to fight. Yes, sir. What I strive to accomplish is something entirely different anyway. Lieutenant Quattro and Ensign Yona, they might turn out to be a good team. I agree. What worries me is, what has Shar set his eyes on? Shar, if you're not fighting for atonement, then what are you fighting for? Okay, Link, thanks for coming out, man. And Yoma got the most kills there. And they want me to do all the side missions before we actually move on, apparently. Alright, let's see. What other ones do we want to be leveling up? Let's see. And you got the Ryuko O. All done up. What is it? Oh, it gets better energy regeneration. Almost, but it's. A Ryo O Izanho is freaking ammo based. The hell? Why you gotta do me dirty like that, game? Well, let's level up the SRX team. Oh, did get an extra power part slot? Well then. Alrighty then. Wait, right, what? Did it already? Oh no, we restored it to 20 SP, not EN energy. Okay. And I guess it's alright. Now we got the exact same custom bonus as Ogami did. We are kind of getting to the point where most of our dudes are have gotten their custom bonuses. We can actually start thinking about going beyond. Nothing like being able to activate a double uh, cash uh, spirit on the entire party whenever we feel like. Five away from maxing out the lab department. Hey, Quattro has hit second place. Let's see, who do we give that to, though, I guess, is the question. Whoever I give it to is definitely going to have to come out more. Sakura, why not? I like using you. Eliminates penalties from repeated targeting and positioning, equip units with a barrier field, and grants spirit endurance. Definitely not bad. Holy crap, I just realized she kind of has bad... Like, outside of ground combat, she kind of sucks with her uh, typing. I have something to try and fix that. I did somewhere. Oh, there we go. That's all of the wonderful uh, brain wired consumable items. After that, I could start giving some decent gains. <laughs> and the AOS resistor can start giving our, our freaking mobile suit super armor. Well, super robot tier armor, I should say. Oh, that's another option for that. Holy crap.
Dubious health drink. I guess that's the last page. I don't really have something to like bo boost your movement. Better you feel would probably be a decent idea. Since she is in that weird butter zone that's a super yet not a super. Sure, let's give her the armament and the resistor to help out her. Actually, wait, uh, where was. There we go. Now she has real mobility. I still have the credit gain meter on her. You know what? Eh. I don't know if I really want to put anything else on Tamaki. All the upgrading we can do right now. All right, time for Lady Lady. Man, at some point I should probably take a look around for any of the free kill missions. Let me get this straight. The Tharst Star is a spaceship, just like Svit and the one on Mars? And all I can say for sure, now that we're in the solar system, freaked us out too before we even knew there was happening. Boom! We're in a totally different star system. So basically, you got dragged here unawares. Essentially, yes, though now I'm grateful for it. Because it gives you an opportunity to put one right between Poseidon's eyes. That allows us to meet you and the rest of the dry crews. We've, had, we've been given an opportunity we never could have had back in Pentagona. Dang, I'm impressed you're able to find a silver lining in all this. Is that odd? No, that, though personally, I'd be losing my mind if I ended up stranded halfway across the galaxy. You're different, Daba, from Kyo... Kyo and Am, um, I mean. There's something about you that's calm and collected, I suppose. Don't tell me you're falling for Daba, Kalin. No, no, it's nothing like that. The only one in her sight is freaking Zero. How do I put this? There's something about Daba that reminds me of Lelouch. Daba, we're in contact with Full Flat on Thart Star. Does that mean she's awaiting our arrival? Right then. Full Flat? Thart Star's administrator. God, and I thought Gundam had some bad names. Get this, Thart Star's population is entirely babes, and Full Flat's the most babelicious babe of them all. A women's only world. Ooh, like a secret garden just for us? Sign me up. I wonder. Wonder about what, Oz? The world is full of men and women, a land where that only is half strike true that where that's only half true strikes me as off somehow. And if its administrator's been given extraterritorial rights by a brutal conqueror, we're gonna need to be careful. Exactly right, Oz. Full Flat's machinations are what brought us to the star system in the first place. Gonna use this visit to gather intel on Poseidon and determine her intentions. Lady, lady. I think this is one of the missions for the heavy metal secret. Yeah, it looks like it. We need to make sure Daba fights with Ney again. Hey, a couple other new secrets have been added to the wiki I use. Interesting. So that's Thart Star. Certainly glitzier than I expected from hearing Daba talk about it. Thart Star has deployed guidance signals for entry. Let's follow them in. You don't think this is a trap, do you? 
Dava and the others are part of the rebellion, but Full Flat still provided them shelter. For now, I think we can trust her. I'll join Dava and the others for the meeting. If the situation goes south, be ready to back us up. Understood. Be careful, Mitsuba. Oh god, I wonder how the freakings and scary ends would actually feel about a uh, Thart Star. Welcome, Dry Cruise. I'm Full Flat, ruler of Thart Star. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to meet with you. Think nothing of it that your Federation government recognize our existence. This is the least I can do to repay that kindness. I hope you enjoy Thart Star's hospitality in the interim. Just know I have no intention of actively collaborating with the Earth Federation. You were taking the same stance you took in Pentagona then. I see no reason to challenge that interpretation, Daba My Road. I'm glad to see you're doing well in any case. I do feel bad for involving you in this little vacation of mine, you know. Is that really why you're here? To play tourist? I find myself ever so slightly bored with Pentagona the world's unchanging state of affairs. Weighing an opportunity to ask you this, full flat. Who in the world are you? Someone upon whom Poseidon took mercy, someone who now rules a false garden. Why did you protect us back in Pentagona? Why did you bring us to the solar system? Does everything I do require a reason? Let me rephrase that. Are you planning to overthrow Poseidon yourself? In doing so, do you intend to use the dry crews and myself as your pawns? Whoa, Daba! You don't have to just come out and say it! It's fine, Daba is simply guided by the passion of youth. Trying to play the mature adult in the room? Play hardly. This is what it means to have maturity, you see. To answer your question from earlier, no. I am only here by Poseidon's mercy. Allow me to demonstrate. Pardon the intrusion. Sweet Jesus, what is going on with like that headdress hair combination you got there? And who might this be? Commander of Poseidon's Imperial Guard. Kuwasan Ulibi. How do you know my name? How could I not? I am trusted with protecting the Emperor to hear one of the skittering vermin of the rebel forces speak me, uh, to me so flippantly. Disgusting. What's flippant about referring to my sister by name? Your sister? Yeah, don't you remember your time together in Combe? I was that? Cease this mockery if I had a brother, I would remember him. What happened, all the B? You went missing and now you're helping Poseidon? That's enough, top of my road. And who are you? Bioclay Ront, Kuwasan's older beast uh, adjutant. I understand the need for levity, Full Flat, but this mockery is a step too far. As a member of the Imperial Guard, surely you see the value in observing key members of the Rebellion? Whatever your opinion is on the matter, I will permit no conflict within Thardstar. You sly fox, but this has given us some fascinating new intel at the very least. Double my road. Kuwasan Ulibi's reaction told me everything. You are a member of the Yaman clan. So what if I am? One of her duties is finding the whereabouts of Yaman survivors. She has a remarkable way of sniffing them out. The Emperor Old Neposidal seeks the clan's utter eradication. That alone is reason enough to snuff you out. Olibi, what's the meaning of this? Silence, Dalva, my road. You are in the presence of Full Flat. Mind yourself. Olibi, let's go back. Back to Comb. Comb? You don't remember? We fled from Mizun. You helped work the fields on Comb. Olibi, it's me, your brother. My brother. Enough of this charade. We're leaving, Kuasan, Olibi. Wait! Just remember, Dalva, my road. If Thart Star wasn't protecting you, you'd be dead. As soon as you leave here, you'll be dealt with appropriately. I don't know, I find that kind of doubtful that he be dead, given everybody else that he's traveling with. Seriously, I'm pretty sure Ryoma could just kill everybody in the room easily. Until next time, Full Flat. Olibi, do you understand what's going on here, Kao? Kuwasan Olibi is Daba's adopted sister and his fiance. His what? Hey, don't look at me, Daba's dad pulled that trigger. Well, the bee went missing a few years ago. I was searching for it. That's why I left the Cone countryside. I suspect you are, in a sense, a forgotten memento of the Yaman clan. You know, my thanks, Full Flat. Whatever your plans might be, you allowed me to reunite with Olibi. Let me have this, uh, let me make this perfectly clear, however. I have no intention of playing into your plans. That will be your undoing, Dapa, my road. I realize that might just be bravado talking, but I don't care. Those who chase their dreams do so ever at their own peril. Is such a fate acceptable to you? I chose to live this way, I'm gonna see it through. Set foot outside Thart Star and you will no longer have my protection. Poseidon's forces will fall upon you without mercy. You can at least stay here until they leave. I told you, I'm not gonna play to your plans. Oh boy, it's fun time. I just realized. Oz and, Oz and Uso are really falling behind, uh, like, level-wise, because I hardly use them since they are so far ahead in kills. Uh... 
Sure, let's see how much more damage she does now that I swapped up her gear a bit. Poseidal Force of Warship confirmed! Ship in the back probably belongs to the Imperial Guard Commander. If I may, Captain? Yes. If we go after Koasan Pol Olabi, it will mean war with Poseidal. Oh, I'm well aware. Poseidal's an invading force. If we take down Poseidal and rescue your sister while we're at it, I'm not sure I see the downside. Sorry to put you up to this. At times like these, you don't need to apologize. Just say thanks. You're right. Thanks, everyone. Likewise, we're all in this together, Daba. She's your bride to be, right? You better believe we're saving her. Heavy Metal Squad incoming! Now, I kind of wish that, like, when they appear, Heavy Metal music started playing. I expect you to deal with them, Nay Mohan. Imperial Guard has some nerve treating me like this. Whatever, makes things easier for me. Hey, boss, who's this Koasan Ulubi chick? Simply ravishing. What? Oh, I've never felt more alive upon this Ashura temple. I vow to prevent those miscreants from advancing a single step. I expect to hear some gratitude, Hachi Mochia. I'm the reason you're fighting that A-class heavy metal. And not for me, still be living the life of a bandit. Right, boss, your thing. Stop calling me boss. It's Captain C-A-P-T-A-I-N. Will you cram it, Gable? Whatever flights of fancy you decide to indulge in, do your damn job. But of course, prepare to feast your optic orbs upon the Ashwa Temple's all aspiring might. Punch through the heavy metal squad and take out the airship in the back. I mean, space. Uh, why do I say Kosan will be? I'll be there soon. I'm guessing the AUG is. This? Okay, so it's. Nay. We need to make sure that. Um... Then, uh, Daba is the one that attacks her. Really? That's the skill she's got? Not even a potential? And only 14,000 HP? The fuck? And does they, she still has the 1,000 damage reduction from beam attack thing that a lot of their units have. Alrighty then. Oh, wait. Did I? What? Oh, shit. oh wait, whoops. Wait, which one did I give the freaking... Okay, here we go. Let's also grab Oz and Uso. And Kalen. Okay. I think my guys are just a little bit good. Man, that was only with his Vulcans. How much would he be freaking out if he got hit by any of his actual attacks? Wait, did, wait, she's got over 4,000 damage on her sword? Yeah, that's some pretty good damage there. We continue to ping out this guy with Vulcans. Yep, and he's barely hanging on now. Oh, my God. 
Well, that's him catching up right there. And <laughs> his new type is, is only level four now. Ooh, he got Excel. Okay, that's very nice. in one shot territory yet, is he? Sorry, Lilith, today I went really overboard today. It's okay, Daba, you only did to rescue someone precious to you. But, um, do you like her more than Am and Lessie, I mean? What I feel for her is different, but right now I can't afford to overthink things. I just need to focus on saving Olapi. Who is Lessie? I don't think she's been mentioned before. When are we going to get an upgrade for the Huckabine? Seems like it's been a long time. We haven't gotten whatever uh, the OG upgrade is going to be. But I find the safest sister. Hang in there, Daba. Do everything I can to help. everyone now the one for Kellen Ain't that the truth, dude? guy wants a piece, huh? Wait, does that mech have, like, handlebars on its head? Okay, let's not bust out all the wave surgers. Let's save some energy there, Callan. Oh, hey, one of the boss dudes. Not exactly your luck's run out, Dubba Myra. Hachia Mochia from the Bandit King? Yeah, it's no more thanks to you, but lucky for me, boss brought me under his wing. Time to get payback for all the crap you put me through. I know what you're on about, and I don't have time to figure it out. Damn it. How? Sure, that's such an elaborate freaking animation for a single shot. Cover repair, there we go. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's no way we could actually try to like one shot her. I am surprised you've aligned yourself with Thart Star at Dabba My Road. Last time I planned to impose upon Full Flats hospitality. No, the last time you dropped breath. Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Damn it, my Oj is on the fritz. The drawing from Thard Star. Bought her in her shiny gold heavy metal back on his feet. Considering how much attitude she had, I'm surprised she backed down so quickly. But it was Lady Nate thinking, wait. That's Gawaza Loa put her up to this? What's her new mech? He's got a sniper kit. Oh, and there's that map attack he's got. So just don't stand on the line with him, I guess. Ready to die now. Let this A class heavy metal get trashed. I'm out of here. Peace. Hold it, Hachi. You wouldn't dare leave your commander to fend for himself, would you? Your life is a bad. It still haunts you. You're getting a re education when this is over. Mm hmm. Sure, dude. This Camille will be up to 50. spread out our kills we're actually spreading out that fortune I cast on everybody you successfully punch a hole in the enemy's defensive line now Daba do what you need to do right not that I have anything to say about it Daba out of the way Gable you'll go no further stop Gable I have to get Olibi before it's too late what nonsense is this you're spewing go on Olibi let's take this opportunity to retreat Daba my road brother Kuwasan Ulibi, are you listening to me? Understood, get the order to retreat. It's from the Emperor of this strange behavior. Ulibi, no! I don't know what you're after, Daba, but I relish your disappointment nonetheless. Gable, I've never hated you more than I do at this moment. What the? Is that? Reinforcements! Sanskirit, sure picked a moment to show up. Return the ship, Dobby. You can't do this alone. Understood. Top of my road. No, Daba. Oh, you yeah, intercept the Zan scare forces. Daba, leave the rest to us. Fall back. It's okay. I can still fight, but. Well then. Let's see. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm actually in range of him. It's just going to suck because that means that they will actually just sit there and snipe away instead of coming forward. Alrighty. That guy has a 
hasn't been touched at all. That Suzaku has hit 50 kills. Nice. That's our turn. Wait, you can't? I was about to say, can we use the double graviton rifle? So wait, are No, it's just generics, okay. And now she's got a score of 69. I never gave her a hidden away, really? Guess not. Remember, we wanted to keep from st uh, from being on a line with Asher out there. And of course, we're just gonna utterly tear through all the new reinforcements, given the fact that they start at base morale. <laughs> and all of our guys have been building up morale throughout this entire fight. That's a one shot. And that should be enough for Umi to get in here, finish him off. And let's face it, mobile suits aren't that different from Nightmare Frame, so it's not that surprising you know how to deal with them, Callan. He can shoot him down at one shot with the MVS. Oh, 
It's basically got no chance of hitting Daba. Gabloy! My word, this pressure. Is this being fueled by Daba's rage? There's some kind of connection between Daba and Kuasan Ulubi? So dead. Can't actually hit anybody else. Oh, oh. Oh, I guess if you like Cal and get another. No, we only have Gablay left. Excuse me? Come on, there we go. Gotta guarantee the kill here. the sniper kit. Curses drawing out the Ashra temple's full might yet elude me. Still, as long as I have this heavy metal, victory gets dumb as all but assured. I'll prove it to you next time we meet. Gavley, though I meant no ill will, I've never hated you as much as I do today. All hostiles confirmed destroyed. Unable to accomplish our mission, however. No, oh, Daba. I'm okay, Lilith. If all the beast commander of the Imperial Guard, we're going to bound to run into her again if we go after Poseidon, which means... Remarkable work, Dry Cruise. That goes for you as well, Daba My Road. It's an honor to be so appreciated by my... But my judgment remains that you are a bystander in all this. This is what we call playing politics, Captain Mitsuba. Understood. Like Daba, we will continue operating as we have been. 
came all the way, so allow me to give you intel on the movements of Poseidon's forces. Think of it as a souvenir. Poseidon has secured the Vestitis Borealis on Mars and is using it as a supply line. You have our sincerest appreciation. All units, return to ship. We're leaving Thart Star's airship base. All of you clearly responded to me. Need more information on Poseidon. I'm going to figure out what happened to her. The city on Mars that Poseidon captured is our only lead. A stunning performance from Daba Road. Equally impressive are the stalwart allies he's found since arriving in the star system. He's exactly the man you thought he was. Ga Gaha Lessi. I imagine the revelation that he had a fiance comes as quite a shock to you, hmm? I will not discuss such topics. I want to be useful to him, that's why I chose to leave them. Ah, so that's the form your love takes. In that case, head to Pallada Star. Pallada, the resource satellite? Poseidon brought it along for resupplying. What reason do I have to go there? See for yourself with your own two eyes. Why did you save me? An act of whimsy. These feelings you have for Daba intrigue me. Well, you have my thanks, full flat. You needn't thank me. I simply acted according to my own desires. Yes, but still, I've made a commitment to do everything and every anything and everything for Daba's sake. A commitment, eh? We felt that same way once long ago. Pardon me, full flat. Name Ohan of the Extra Thirteen. To what do I owe your visitation? Lord Giwaza entrusted me with a letter. I'm here to deliver it to you. Giwaza Loa, the leader of the Extra Thirteen, seems the letter concerns matters he would prefer the Emperor to remain unaware of. Those eyes, another vassal in love's thrall. Yeah, no surprise Callan got the <laughs> MVP there. Ah, we can do another heavy metal mission. Yeah, no prerequisites for anything there. Yeah. Sure, why not? Oh, okay, that's a very powerful freaking... <laughs> support effect it's within five of her not the usual like right next to her that you need that usually the uh ah, brain that the jammer requires okay plus two move and she actually has a morale down attack that's actually really rare for us to get Cost 8,500, don't they? Except for sight for some reason. I don't know. And after we max him out, I guess we'll actually start thinking about getting people past 50%. Maybe actually get some freaking weapon upgrade, you know? Let's actually do the second coming of zero now. We just did a heavy metal mission. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna vanish from for us. Oh wait, before I forget. Sagi and Daba. Gilliam and Kenichi. What? How am I supposed to look to Alice Springs there? There we go. Shiro and J Decker. Oh, damn it. There we go. 
And Asagi and Yona. Yona and Odello. So we seem to get some of the people I actually use for these. Wait. Maybe we should check there real quick. Masaki and Erika. Another Yona! Oh, and Camille too. Yoma and Addy. So, did we hear from Lelouch? That's right, the Dry Cruise accepted his request and we're headed back for Zilkstan. In other words, he's got a plan for how to rescue Nunnally. He's calling us up, better have some info on the claw for me. Hard to say, after all, we're dealing with the famous evil Emperor Lelouch. Considering everything he's done, he'd easily like you to... Okay, what? Cruise the action Lelouch, while he was known as the evil Emperor, society remembers Lelouch v. Britannia as a ruthless despot. His personal history up to that point, he became emperor as well as the truth behind the Zero Requiem is not public knowledge. Holy Carmen, Lush wouldn't do that. He's not the kind of person anymore. Got any proof? So you're right in that before he died, Lush would do just about anything to further his plans. Seems to me that after he put everything on the line to complete the Zero Requiem, Lush changed a little more than a little. So you think he's hunky dory now? I don't know if I can really put it into words, but I don't think he's going to just lie and use people anymore. At least not people he respects. Just like Vaughn, then? Like me. Well, Vaughn, you can be pretty inconsiderate, and you're always doing crazy stuff. But you do try to think about me and Joshua, and well, everyone. Vaughn's a way better person than he seems at first glance, huh? Hey, just so you know, I've been called Van the Nice Guy. Evil Emperor Lelouch and the Man of Miracle Zero. I guess Kellen's words have weight to them. After all, we only know those two faces. Still, though, if he did lie to me. If he was lying, do what you have to, Vaughn. Of course, just remember to release something of Lelouch for me to punch, too. Deal, you can have first dibs. Hey, Suzaku, are you still having trouble forgiving Lelouch? Well, I've cooled off a bit now. At least I get at least I get that he wasn't exactly planning on coming back from the dead. But still, somehow there's a part of me that just can't accept it. It's not that I can't forgive him, really. It's more like having to come to grips with the fact that I forced him to come back right into the conflict again. No, if you're thinking that far ahead, then I'd say you were right to get away from Lelouch for a bit. He asked me, though, what you should do now is go tell him how you feel face to face. Thanks, Callan. We should be arriving at the point Lelouch directed us to shortly. Everyone should get ready. Let's see it then, Lelouch. Let's see how you fight now that you've been resurrected. But Cornelia is alive? I guess that's where she died back in season one. So you're the commander of the Black Knights, Lieutenant General Cornelia Lee, Vi uh, Lee Britannia. I am Commander Mitzvah Grey Valley of the Drag Cruise, the Earth Federation Autonomous Corps. Yes, I've heard rumors of you that out of all that tattered remnants of the EFF, you draw on the fighters with a real backbone. So what brings the Drag Cruise to our frontline camp? This location was established in secret as a camp for our operation to re rescue WHA Consultant Nunnally V. Britannia. The regular military shouldn't know about it. Well, that's... Oh, I invited them here. Zero. We will need their help in order to rescue Nunnally. I still find it hard to believe, but it seems the reports that you were alive were true, Lelouch. I assume Suzaku is also alive then? That would be correct, sister. Do you intend to take up the name of Zero again? The only ones who should kill are those prepared to die. I stand here with borrowed time on a borrowed existence. By all rights, I shouldn't lay a finger on this world. After all, Lelouch v. Britannia abandoned both his existence and his world. So why then are you here now wearing that mask? 
Just for the one moment I have acted to rescue Suzaku, the new Zero had to save Nunnally. I return to Zero as Lelouch Lamporge. What utter nonsense! How dare you stand before me again so shamelessly, Lelouch! Time you return to the dead! I can settle this once Nunnally is safe. But to make that happen, I need your Black Knights as well as the Dry Crews under my command. You have spilled so much blood, Yuffie, Darlton, so many more besides. And now you would have us lose our lives too, so that because you wish to be a hero once more? Please, I beg you, give me your aid. I spent every moment doing what I can on my own. I've examined Zilk Stan top to bottom. I've prepared every tool I can. But I can't rescue Nunnally on my own. I need your aid, all of you. Can you do it with our help? Yes, with it, we will win. How can you look at me straight and tell me you aren't lying? I have no need to lie any longer. There's too much at stake now. I don't know Lelouch all that well, but I trust Zero. Oogie. In the past, I failed to have faith in Zero and made an awful decision. If I could do it all over again, I'd never doubt him again. I'm going with Zero. After all, I know this guy can make miracles happen. Tamaki. Very well, Lelouch. Though our mothers were different, I have never for a moment not thought of Nunnally as my dear little sister. How could I stand to not rescue her? I thank you. Lelouch actually thanks someone. It's not that much of a shock, Anya. Well, that settles it. The operation begins tomorrow at 6pm. Let me explain the plan. Are you sure you don't need to talk to Lelouch? Interesting new outfit for C2. I just... I don't even know what I would say anymore, honestly. I don't know, it just seems weird to see her dress up like that compared to her other one outfits. She usually wore, like, either that, like, straight jacket outfit or that black suit. You shouldn't assume you'll get a chance tomorrow. If you have anything to say, you should say it now or settle for never saying it. Well, I kind of say the same about you, right? Seems to me you've been alive so long you don't even think about much about putting things off. Still, though, Ogi, I did not expect to find you and Tamaki here. What can I say? Vice Prime Minister just isn't who I am. So I tender my resignation to PM Yumi. Well, I definitely appreciate it. I need as many trustworthy staff members as I can get. And I thank you, Lelouch. It's all thanks to you that Japan's free of Britannian rule. For my failure to believe in our savior for everything I did to you, I'm ready to pay with my life. Stop. It's over. It's all in the past. Zero. Pardon me, Yogi. It seems someone else needs to speak to me, if you don't mind. Of course, Jess. Please remember, Lelouch. As long as you need a fight, I'll put my life on the line for you. Thank you, Ogi. Lelouch? So, how did the world turn out? War's madness is overtaking it faster than I could imagine. So the Zero Requiem failed to change the world after all. Not at all. The world did find peace from your death. It just didn't last very long. And it's time for Zero to take to the stage once more. I have two things I need to say to you. First off, Lelouch, now that you're back, you should be Zero. No, you're Zero now. I'm just borrowing the title for this operation. I was only ever a figurehead. This role was made for you, Lelouch. So you too, every one of you, you need to give up on me already. How can I give up on you when you're right in front of me? I'm only here on borrowed time. I'm borrowed? No one knows the rules of Sea's world. Who knows? I could vanish in a puff of smoke tomorrow. Don't say that. What was the other thing you wanted to say? I need to get ready for tomorrow, so make it quick. At zero, I've crossed the world with a dry crew, seeing it for myself. Seeing the world being engulfed in war, I guess. I realize there's quite a bit to it, but in the end, the peace we built lasted only a year. And yet, people still insist on calling it the miraculous year. And it's because of that single year, people once again believe that peace can come, hoping that this will pass too. And it's because of their hope that I was able to keep fighting without giving up hope myself. Lelouch, that's the world you saved. I want you to see that too. Suzaku. Malouche, sorry, guess it's my turn to lie. There's one more thing I wanted to say. I'm really glad you're alive. Really? You wanted to give me a piece of your mind when we first reunited back in that prison. Yeah, well, the world without you was much, much lonelier than I'd ever thought it could be. Thank you, I'm sorry I made you feel that way. Now, if we can just rescue Nunnally. I know, trust me, to do that, we have to make sure this rescue operation is a success. As long as we're side by side, there's no battle we can't win. Absolutely, we will win. Sorry to put in on the hug party here, but you didn't forget about me, did you? Vaughn, ah oh, yes. Let's hear it. what'd you find out about the claw? Fair warning you the whole thing earlier was just a lie to get me to play nice. Well, you're gonna pay. I have no intention of lying to you. I wouldn't be so disrespectful to a man with the same eyes as I used to have. Enough yapping then, out with it! 
I'll be frank, I wasn't able to gather any real information about the Clara's supporters. However, I can tell you that they've integrated into Zilkstan Central Command as aid to their military. Good enough for me. Sounds like we'll find out more once we've rescued your sister. Vaughn, you said you uh, you used to be like me. Yes, I once only lived purely for revenge. Yes, and you pulled it off in the end. How did it end up feeling? It. No, never mind. I ought to find out for myself anyway. Yes, just so. There's been suspicious activity near our borders. The Tri-Cruise and the Black Knight. I'm sure Suzaku Kururugi is with them. I may be sorry to, to engage them, sister. Not trust your judgment, Shelly. I'll simply be careful. The enemy counts those who know of Gios amongst them. Sister, the enemy wields a Gios. Worry not, once I make a prophecy, you can defeat any foe. I know that we captured Suzaku Kururugi thanks to the power of your prophecies. While their preparation will soon be complete, until then, none may be allowed to approach this castle. Then I'll head out. I shall command the defense force then, your divinity, by your will. My, my, Gias, a power that can bend even the rules of nature to its whim. How do you know of Gias? Thanks to the comrade, of course. Well, let me to rephrase the question. Why are you helping Zilkstan? Why are you helping me? Everything we do is for the sake of the happiness of the people. Quite, that is the dream we and the comrade chase. And so, in return, you ask for my aid. Very well. Our, our preparation will soon be complete, indeed. I'm counting on you, Nunnally. All this is because your brother shattered the laws of Sea's world. Charles failed to fulfill his role, but even now, you whose wavelength is closest can let me reach Sea's world. The Second Coming of Zero. Actually, is this one of the... Uh, I guess this is not one of the missions uh, for getting uh, Michael and Fasolina. Hello, we have a new Lancelot, it looks like. What the hell? Okay, apparently another secret we need to get freaking Daba up to 150 kills before doing Dreams Forever. The heck? Of course. I just realized how high a level I've gotten Yona to. Well, oh, part of that is because of those little side missions he did. Not allowed a second ship, apparently. How's the new Lancelot feel, hmm? It should be tuned to fit your style. The Albion Zero was made for multi-enemy engagement, but this one was designed to specialize in one-on-one -on -one duels. Thank you, Lloyd. But of course, I was pretty involved in its development, so I'm sure you'll be perfectly satisfied. So is the machine upgrade all I need to beat Shalio? Don't sweat it too much, Suzaku. What, was it something I said? Just never thought the day would come when we banter before a battle like this. Yeah, no kidding. Cornelius' team and a separate dry cruise team acting as a diversion have split the Zilkstani army into pieces. We'll break through here and head straight for the castle, where none of these likely being held. Zilkstani forces approaching! Not exactly the biggest op, op four I've ever seen. Of course not. I analyze a mountain of data to find the least guarded approach to the castle. You're right for strategy, exactly what I had heard it was, Zero. Well then, I'll leave command of this particular operation to you. Understood, Mitsuba, thank you. All units charged, break through the enemy defensive line as quickly as possible. Okay. We're already at near the end of this, apparently. Yeah, it's got the blaze luminous. Map attack, MVS. Huh, not a lot different than his old one. Plus 300 attack, bro, to combination attack. Oh, and that also gave him his map attack.
I just wasn't gonna add to ya. No reason not to bust that out right at the start. I'm expecting that we're gonna have an enemy reinforcements real quick. I just realized I forgot to get them off the ship and... Damn it, Ernie! <laughs> Really, his sorted cannon is already a one shot. Just a basic melee from Gridman is enough to kill these guys. These guys are all in one-shot territory. And with that, we got our first great ace. Plus one EXE on Sorty, and we start with more SP at the start of a battle. Let's see your new finisher there, Suzaku. Yeah, he's nowhere to be seen. Seems like Lelouch beat him without a fight by picking this route. Now you just need to destroy the for enemy force as soon as possible. <laughs> Of course he starts out doing that crouch thing. Spin Zaku! <laughs> He doesn't have enough. He's not actually going to be able to finish it off, is he? Nope. And there's one do left. I guess we can give him to Callan. She doesn't have the round for it. The enemy lines are so thin. We got this. Nicely done, Lelouch. You really are the man who makes miracles happen. Well, of course, he, uh, somewhere along the line, this is going to go wrong. Well handled, Suzaku. The name belongs to a dead man. I am. The name Zero isn't just a title to me. So to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of you trying to claim it for your own. The defense units have been annihilated. Now! All units remain on standby. Intercept any enemies coming to reinforce. C2 and I will storm the castle. Lush, make sure you rescue Nunnally. C2, the enemy has any Gios users. I'm counting on you to deal with them. Naturally. It's all up to you now, Lelouch. Lady Shamna, the rebel, rebel has entered the castle. We must evacuate now. No need for that. Our first priority must be completing the system as soon as possible. A nightmare frame! That was quicker than I expected. If you fear the name Zero, then surrender now. Very impressive. Shalio seems to think you're the dead Suzaku Kurugi, but you're not, are you? Let me guess. Zeros now breed like rabbits? I have nothing to say to scum like you. I'm only here for Nunnally. The nightmare frame's gun is pointing directly at you. Surrender now and I won't kill you. Obey me unless you'd rather your kingdom fall into ruin. You won't kill me. <laughs> Surrender was never an option. Do you not care at all about your people? I only say this one more time. Surrender. Be careful. I'm, I'm all but certain the woman's got a gear, but I just don't know what it does. All right. Say it as many times as you like. I'm not changing my minds. 
I see, then die. Six hours ago, that would put me right at the military council, wouldn't it? So I have no intention of dying alone. Not only my dear, do come with me. You? My nation's soldier will never lose. No, not in a fair fight. I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah. I have no idea what all this noise is. There's been suspicious activity near our borders. So once again, my life alone is reset six hours. What's wrong, sister? For Nar, I have a stratagem to dictate. We received a prophecy, haven't you? Indeed. I await your orders, your divinity. In slightly less than six hours, the enemy will strike. We need to redeploy our forces to be prepared for their attack. Namjala Latak, all shall be as you prophesize. Even with the former master on your side, you'll never be me. See, I'm fated to redo my life every time I die. No matter what you plan you concoct, my experiences will reshape Silkstone to defeat it. No shall you, I hate myself sometime for how powerless our nation is. For how much I must lean on you. You never worry about me, sister. I know it's the world that's wrong. I'll correct it with the power of my prophecies. Okay then. Wait, does that mean we don't get to keep our kills? Oh no, um, she's still a uh, great ace, all right. Let's see, three left. Yeah, we already saw this. Yeah, this is all still the same, except we're gonna have way more dude, right? There's a lot of enemies. That's impossible! I went over reams of data to make sure I chose the least guarded route, so now. Captain, we're getting a report from our diversion team. All of them have been ambushed and are under heavy fire. It looks bad. They anticipate my strategy? What do we do, Zero? We're too far in to have any hope of retreating. It's do or die now. All units charge. Break through the enemy defense lines as quickly as possible. And of course, it looks like we're going to have some friends uh, coming in later. So let's grab our due. They're under 50 here. Oh, I didn't. I didn't actually excel with Mitsuba. Oops. Actually gonna get hit here. Okay, she didn't actually get hit. Bad feeling for nothing. Must read the situation in this valley. Does Zilkstan have a strategy just that much better than Lelouch? <laughs> Surprised that we haven't had any commentary from C2 about all this. Just barely not able to kill.
No, oh, she can't actually hit from that far. Oh, really? It looks like they missed by a mile. Oh, what? He can't use freaking... Uh, his freaking uh, funnels yet. A lot of them are just not moving for some reason. Man, these guys have long ass range, don't they? Oh, hey, now we can fin funnel. A bit annoying with them not moving at all. Looks like they also upgraded their mechs a bit? It's, you know, I'm pretty sure they weren't capable of surviving that earlier. Man only needs two more kills now. Oh wait, I just realized. There we go, show me the money. There we go, finally a one shot. Yeah, you did. Figured that they might have like some kind of bonus effect going on while the prophecy is in effect or something. They're my Vulcans. <laughs> Say this prophecy isn't exactly helping you guys out much. There's only four guys left now. And of course it's guys that snipe. Oh come on.
Hey, you're in range. Oh, nice. Honestly, I feel a lot more comfortable using Gridman Caliber now, just because we have so many other big finishers we can bust out now. <laughs> Almost at 50 now. And now Vaughn's hit 50 kills. Now if I really wanted to, I could just toss Proud Ace on all of them. <laughs> Enemy pets have been annihilated. That was harder than we planned for, but this... All units remain on standby. Intercept any enemies coming to reinforce. I'm planning on breaking into the castle with C2, but I'll go alone now. Will you be okay, Zero? Figured out my strategy, so we need to be prepared for anything. That's why I want C2 here as backup. Wait for me, Nelly. I'm on my way. What? It's an ambush. The way they're acting like they know every move Lelouch is going to make. The way they're responding to our diversion. Now they even have a two-stage defense plan ready? Insane, it's like they read my mission briefing. No tech There's tacticians and politicians, but no strategists have known this country, so how? Now she won't survive much more. What? That's the absolute defense system. Then the nightmare frame is... Gekko Isui. It was incomplete, but I had the staff get it ready to sortie. Thought it would be ready for this, wouldn't be ready for this mission. What a ridiculous choice. Yes, well, it's got its legs attached and all its weaponry is functional at least. Come on, get in here. Of course. So this is his new mech, I guess. I never imagined we'd be in a situation like this. Who in the world's capable of anticipating my strategy so perfectly? Do we retreat? No, that would mean sacrificing our diversion forces. Then fix this! We'll handle the enemies! You're the brains here, aren't you? Think something up! Everyone! Put together a plan, Lelouch, assuming you really want to rescue Nunnally. But how? Should we give up? Considering the situation, is that hopeless, is it? Yeah. Well, so was I. We utterly without hope, traveling, searching for even a pinprick worth of light. But I never gave up. I believe that someday you'll be the same person you were. And now, whoever you are, you're not the Lelouch I wanted back so dearly. Haughty, bratty, overconfident, and never ever willing to give up. That's my Lelouch. I'm sorry, didn't mean to push us all on you. You go ahead and pull out. This is goodbye. What a selfish woman. Lelouch? I know, C2. This enemy has read my strategy. They have a Gios. A Gios? How can you tell? Just a hypo uh, hypothesis. I'm going to try to determine their Gios based on the assumption. If I'm wrong, we'll just start again from the uh, top again. We we'll have to do it while we're fighting, though. Right, Owen. Rescuing Nunnally is non-negotiable. Looks like you worked things out. Well, buy time for you to get whatever you're doing done. Do everything in your power, Lelouch. Absolutely. I'm counting on you, all of you. Uh, oh, he's got Tactical Command back. Oh my. Yeah, it's the basis of the, the Sakura Wars command abilities. <laughs> yeah, it only works for one turn. Although, as I recall, he like had an utterly broken way of using this, where basically after you got his ace bonus, Every time he used the tactical command skill, it gave you a bunch of ta uh, uh, like pilot points per uh, per unit hit by it, and he never went away. Like you could just spam the crap out, and he has disrupt. Oh baby, yes. Oh gosh, that right? He has the absolute defense system. Nullifies any damage above, I mean below four thousand. Oh, he's also got a jamming device as well. He's got the absolute zero beam. But of course he's like completely unupgraded, right? 
Oh, and hey, he has C2 as his, um, as his sub pilot. Nice. Nice to see those two finally piloting together. C2, I'm working on a new plat, so I can only do a little piloting. That'll be enough. Not like I ever expected much from you on that front anyway. Hm, good to see you're feeling better. You too. I'll grant your, wi your every wish. That's my duty as the one who brought you back. And in turn, my own wish. Lelouch, until we have to part for good, I give you everything I have and everything I am. <laughs> I think that move it. Yeah, it's not post movement. He does have one with CL Sword. Yeah, that is fairly expensive. We could probably make use of uh, that brain white hidden away. Yeah, and these guys came in basically at no morale. That's the problem with most reinforcements in these games. They always come in heavily weakened because they have no guts uh, running in them. They don't got that fire. I think of a lot we can do outside of getting everybody on this side just moving up. But are you worthy of Koji's? Yeah. Come on. None of them move, really. Oh, he can actually hit with Buster Gridman from there. I swear Boar sounds older than she looks. And with that, we have a new ace. Hyper Agent improves to grant plus 20% damage dealt and plus 20% final hit. Oh, wait. That's the one. Yeah, that requires him to get five kills in a map. Lame. Now that's a VO one uh, <laughs> maneuver right there. Dang it. Yeah, these kills gotta go to these guys, I guess. <laughs> Aw, oh, dang it. She can't reach with uh, with her microwave beam. She might be able to finish it with... Suzaku killing this guy and uh, uh, Gal Gaigo taking out the other. Oh, 
And Suzaku's almost ready to ace. I thought, how many kills does the Lelouch come in with? 42. Alright. Now oh, he's way behind. We did! The enemy forces are down! Lelouch, it's in your hands now! What did we do, Lelouch? Should we assume enemies already prepare for us to move in? Assuming the enemy is a Gyashi, so we're the ones who have to go. There's no choice. 24 backup plans for entering troops into the castle in case of emergency. Uploading them to your console. Pick one at random. I see. So the only one who knows the plan will be me. Gyas doesn't work on you. So if the enemy has a Gyas that can read thoughts, we'll have that covered. I've chosen a plan. Time to execute it. Now let's see what they do. Ishama, the rabble has entered the castle. Book the, um, that many defensive lines and even prepare multiple entry plans. So it seems I was right. I can't underestimate you. Ishama, we must evacuate. We must complete the system at all costs for that sake. Even my own life means nothing. Lady Shama, why did you kill yourself? Oh god, do I have to go through this again? There's been sus- uh, You have to do the prophecy in- Holy crap. Completely ridiculous. Deployed the absolute minimum to handle the diversion teams and have their main force deployed to block this one route. They had printout of our battle plan would have been way too on the nose. Right after we act through their stupid five-state defense and set them off. Don't worry, everyone. I'm sure Zero rescued Nunnally. Lelouch! Sorry, we failed to reach the castle. What? Entry route we picked was closed off. And now this beggar's belief. I know for a fact that ten hours ago, nothing was there, so... No, but like, even if the enemy knew your pl battle plan exactly, this is all way, way too much. First place, wasn't the infiltration route picked out random by C2, so how? Only C2 knew the route we were going to take, and the Gios can't affect me. Which means the enemy's Gios doesn't read any particular individual's thoughts. Furthermore, this quick response means the Gios user must be someone who can issue orders to the entire kingdom or to close to those who can. Do we see it's King Shadlio now? No, that's unlikely. He's too focused on Suzaku. I guess it's either his sister Shamna or the Elder Fornar over in the castle. Just as my sister said, now my chance to strike while they're exhausted. Well, guess it'll be like stomping on ants, huh? Don't get too cocky. We'll never yield. What's wrong? Something's off. This looks stunning and kidnapped Nunley, but they're not even making us use of what she'd know. Which means their goal was Nunley herself. Yet, considering the deployment of the enemy forces, they don't seem to care about defending the country itself. What does that mean? Do they not care the country is lost so long as their goal is fulfilled? Zuckstan's so General Fornar is known as the Brown Bulwark for a reason. He's a guardian, a defender. A man like you would never willingly adopt a strategy like this. That means the Gios user is Shamna, correct? She's the logical option, but we can't be sure. What the enemy helps, uh, uh, what the knowledge helps us with is determining what the enemy Gios actually is. Considering the enemy's action and the timing of the construction that closed off our entry route, as well as Shamna's supposed power of prophecy, the enemy's Gios, if I could just figure out that means, they're, uh, what they're using to read my plan, it can overcome it, I'm sure. So if it's Suzaku Kurugi in the Lancelot, does that mean the Black Nightmare frame there has a different zero piling it? I suppose it doesn't matter. Once they're both scrapped, that will prove I am the strongest. I mean, neither of them are even the strongest in this team. I mean, wave to Ryoma over there. Prince wants the white and black, but I guess that leaves me with the red. Bring it on, I got plenty of fight left in me. Keep fighting, everyone. It's not much, but I see a chance. Buy time for me to return that chance into a guarantee. We can win this, Lelouch. Yes, I will make us win. I can't believe in you. It's in their thicket. We'll give these idiots something to do. Oh, yes. Focus fire on the White Nightmare frame. Piled by King Shalio. Suzaku, the laser focus on you. You keep them busy. Right, eliminating those who disrupt the world's peace of mind. No, zero's duty. Counting you all just a little bit more. Just buy me a little bit more time. I'm guessing that would... This is the Nagat... Yeah, that's the Nagat you main. <laughs> Yeah, he still has all of his crazy stuff. He's had... Okay, all of our guys are basically sitting at max morale and all of them are sitting at min. Oh, we have uh, the people that last acted still, you know. Seriously? Oh, gosh. Do I need to... 
I don't think Disrupt is right to play on this turn. I think we're better off just letting them come to us at this point. And look at that! Suddenly everything doesn't look nearly as bad! We're taking pot shot, but we're not going in. Especially since a lot of them don't really have good post-movement attacks. So all the people we're nailing now are basically the closest we get. What's the range? Three to eight. They called it. Eh, he's already starting to get low on... Oh, wait, let me guess. All of us have low energy now, right? And Suzaku is still just utterly slaughtering people. Oh, come on, really? Now this is a good opportunity to bust out Disrupt. Oh, and I can bust it out next turn too, nice. You know, at this point, I might as well see if I can get Suzaku his is freaking uh his ace bonus really only one he has that can kill is with combination attack at this point <laughs> umi is also getting really close to her ace And look at that, suddenly we're uh, on an even playing field with how many guys there are to kill. But seriously, why do you guys keep claiming that Suzaku and Zero are the strongest? Ryoma's here! <laughs> they think they're insulting you, Ryoma. You gotta prove to them that you're the best, man. Wait, Resolve is still a spirit? That's the one that gives, yeah, that's the one that gives EXC. Ooh, that's a really nice one. I just wish that Mitsuba had it. Cause it's usually pretty amazing on a ship since you could just start off with that and bam, that's a lot more pickups we can do. Get range. He has no what? Yeah, he has nothing that take makes use of that stat. I think we're actually all at maxed out. Uh, yep, not the XC SP.
Yeah, suddenly this doesn't seem nearly as bad now, does it? There's only five randos and only two bosses. <laughs> See, Ryo can one shot this guy. Same, same with Gao Gao Gao. What's Kaido up to? 53. Yeah, good idea right there. Mm -hmm. Well, at least you're going after an actual good target. <laughs> That's right, he has that stupid effect that reduces all damage like 40%. Now that I think about it, I mean, Ryoma is still pretty freaking gr gimp, so, so he doesn't have Hayato and Benke to help out. So we can't Shin Shine Spark yet. So yeah, he's got yeah supersonic speed minus forty percent damage taken and no crits. Okay, but we can force it with EX options. Okay. With that, plus 10 morale on Sorty and plus 15% final evasion rate. Both are really nice for Suzaku, since that means he basically starts in hyper mode. So what are you? Scorpion mech man? Wait, apply terrain. Doubles the benefit from space of the terrain effects. Huh. All right, no. that's not bad, but it's not one of those things that really get comes into play a lot. Tool? Yeah, he's definitely a tool, isn't he? Should probably toss out the disrupt. This isn't doesn't help him that much, unfortunately. Oh, that's way better. <laughs> Well, once I found me the enemy boss, but you're down, I get the credit for the win. You sad selfish greed isn't enough to stop me. Now oh, hell, if you're gonna go that far, then that high and mighty desire is keeping you going, huh? To save not only while I'm at it, to eliminate scum like you and save the whole world. <laughs> Ah, she can't finish him off with that. Really? Uh. Hey, that red nightmare frames the girl in it, so that must be the red haired black knight girl in it. Must be that pawn scum who's running that sewer of a prison then. Oh, looks like you got some spunk still, huh? Can't wait to beat it out of you. Not this time. There's no one on this planet who can beat me when I'm in the Gurin. For zero, for none only, heck, for the world, I will win. <laughs> Oh, 
Really? Um, Sakura, you finish him off then. Of course, he has no lines with Sakura. Freaking how the hell did my battle but but lol and do get so overwhelmed whatever i'm done by I'm done my pits if you ask me what the he ran he was never more than a bandit i don't need anyone who can shoulder can't shoulder the pride of zilkstan come you two zeros i'll drown you in zilkstan's pride in my power except we can't break through the lines here until we defeat that boy i'll do it then zero's duty to bring an end to this villain who kidnapped Nunnally and ruined the peace just realized oh i can't actually finish him off with suzaku this turn I'm actually out of ammo for the <laughs> ULH. Eh, fine. Oh, I completely forgot there was another dude. <laughs> dude can't even hit! Oh, Suzuku Zaku Kurugi, I hope you don't think you've got a chance to get just because you got a new Lancelot. I'm going to win, not because of my nightmare frame, but because of my resolve. I don't like your attitude. Don't think you're the only one carrying a heavy burden. My shoulder is far heavier than you, for my country and for my sister. I'll be the strongest warrior. And for Lelouch and for the world Lelouch protected, Zero will be victorious. Seriously, the boss can't even touch Suzaku. Especially since he does have that plus 15% evasion. I think that basically means that he can't have like an evasion low, um, well, enemy can't have accuracy higher than 85%. Oh, and you take care of this. This is one of your enemies. Just like Lelouch said, looks like the Claw is working with Zilk's stun. Well, just you wait, Claw. Once Lelouch has a sister again, we're coming for your head next. Now to deal with all this bullshit. It's down to 2,000, but I'm pretty sure that... Yeah. Since you know he's but yeah, he's got guard potential level seven going and his freaking minus forty percent going too. Do I have yes I do have some dance. I can't drop him that far though. Yeah, that's all my dance. That does drop his defense by 20 points at the very least. Yeah, not even Ryoma can freaking kill him. God, even Ryoma can only do 2,000 damage. Which I guess. Hmm, <laughs> actually. You're also Zero. You see Zero as an enemy, so you're an enemy of peace. Peace is an obstacle to Zilkstad, nothing else. I see, so you are one who kills and is in turn willing to be killed. Then mercy would be wasted here. If I'm to take the name of Zero, then I must eliminate those like you without fail. <laughs> Very nice. What's oh, not the nuggets you made that so easily? 
You gotta be kidding. He's still gonna try and fight? Either way, that's the enemy formation disrupted. Lelouch! Well, what do we do? I still can't be absolutely sure I can protect Nunnally. Even so, we got to go now. It's time to make one last gamble. Go for it, Zero! Rescue Nunnally and end this battle! Another lost life, but if I can just connect to Nunnally in this wall... I won't let you! So you made it this far! Of course, if you take my life, we'll just do it all over again. Are you trying to access Sea's world? Face, are you the evil Emperor Lelouch? So that's it, is it? Truly, fate is a curious beast. Didn't think I'd meet the reason I had to devise this plan in person. Shamna, do you know why I almost had the world in the palm of my hand? How could I? More likely, how can you not? You and I have the same gears. It was quite a shock, realizing that someone else had the same gears as I do. Oh, that would be a long talk, I'd say. Why don't you prepare some mint tea for us? Oh, that's right, you dislike it. Pardon me. The same as mine. Oh, calm down, Shamna. You could easily have read about my tastes and hobbies anywhere. So it's true that he's driven me this far. For that matter, is this the first time he and I have spoken? Or does Lelouch also use his travels back through death to orchestrate the situation for me? What's wrong? Use your gears. You would say, well, then you show me your power first. Princess, we will dispose of this rabble immediately. Do not kill him. You must not kill that man. And thus, so the conditions for victory are met. Lelouch v. Britannia orders you, servants of Shamna. Obey my orders. Um, Jalalatak. What is this? It's exactly what it looks like. This is my Gios, the absolute power to command. You deceive me. You didn't have the same Gios as I do, coward. I need to know your power and what activated it. I deduce you were somehow returning through time, considering the timing with which you responded to my strategies. I realized it had to be about six hours back. All that was left was learning how you activated it, so I simply took the obvious path to gaining that knowledge. That was why you, pl uh, you played at having the same power as I did. It is a shock, though, to think your Gios is one that sends you through time by dying. Were you planning to use Nunnally to travel to a time of your choosing somehow? Tell me, Lelouch, don't you wish you could redo part of your history? My Gios and Liz rebirth can change the past. It could make it so you never needed to be called the Evil Emperor and never hide yourself from the world. You would just work with me. Do not deny who I am. All of my pain, my sadness, my regret, together they are what makes me who I am. Don't you dare take my scars from me. Do you not want a better tomorrow? Tomorrow's the product of many things coming together. Failure and mistakes are an inevitable part of that. That's as true in Zilkstan as it is anywhere. No, I am right. You're wrong. You are so terribly wrong, Shamna. Your path is one no person who claims to rule should ever take. So what will you do? Will you slay me, slay Shamna? No, you will sleep forever. Sleep. <laughs> it's over. Now we just have to rescue Nunnally. But before we do that, there's something else I have to attend to. Why can't I get in contact with my sister? Where's our prophecy? He, my soldiers of Zokstan, my name is Zero. Our operation has succeeded. Not only V, Britannia is already in my custody. It's like that can't possibly be true. I ordered my comrades retreat immediately. Our operation is a success. All units respond as quickly as possible. This is your final order from Zero. Live. That is all that matters. Silence! Get out of my way. I have to get to my sister. Now it's time for you to pay for your crimes, for kidnapping not only and for breaking the peace. Crimes? Crimes? What is Zilk's dad without war? Tell me! Just surrender. This battle's already over. It's not over. I have to be the strongest for my sister who shoulders this nation's burden too. Well then! How many people have had to suffer so I can keep my wretched body functioning? Lives here. Why did I even... Sister, tell me. What was I supposed to do? What... What am I supposed to do now? The Luxani army has begun to disengage. Furthermore, the majority of the enemy forces are disarming as per order from General Fornar, but the others seem to be fleeing. I wonder if you've actually fought our last battle with Zilkstan. Most likely not. I mean, they got the enemy models, so they gotta use them somewhere. Still, we're able to rescue Nunnally. Well, the fight might go on, but what matters is that we made progress toward the end, right, Lelouch? Nunnally! Could our conscience be in Sea's world? The gate below the prison's already gone. Only one we can use, the gate Shamna built. If that's what we have to do to save Nunnally, then that's what we do. We can't be picky. Could have done this alone, you know. I'm not going to let you. Well then, head over that direction. That's where Nunnally is. What about you? I want to go check on something. Alright, I'll trust you with it then. Right then, how long has it been since you split off from the Order, Shamna the Divine? A pleasure to meet you, Master C2. Are you a failed project? I actually don't think so. Originally, my kiosk allowed me to look into the future, but somehow it transformed into this. 
Because of the warping of the world's law, no doubt. I, trapped with nowhere to go, came to dream. The dream of reforging of our world. My country has no way to earn money or resources saved by conflict. Lelouch's peace put us on the path to annihilation. Ironic, though, now that same Lelouch has forced you to wander forever in the darkness between life and death. What do you desire? Is my power to send you on, if you wish, but... Here, here I can meet all the lives that pass on someday, even Shalio will. Oh, Shalio, how many times has he been hurt, even died for my sake? If that is your wish, then so be it, but don't leave your regrets behind. Brother? Let's go home, Nunnally. But this place is... This is where the last traces of many people linger, that's all I can say. What, this? The mind's lost here, trying to swallow us up? If I can, at least ensure Nunnally is safe. No! Nunnally? Brother, please, I have so much to say that I've never been able to. I don't want to part with saying it again. Oh, thoughts who created this space, he, me. Lelouch Vibertani orders you. You will? Brother? My gears is my burden to bear. My sin, so... Uh, wait, this, these thoughts are different. I see, so save us once again, will you? What about Nunnally? If you're back in hold, I have no doubt Nunnally's fine. She's just asleep for now. I see. Contact my sister. Have her secure Nunnally. What will we be doing about this pallet? Uh, this place? We blow it up. We have no more use for Sea's World. Wait just one moment, if you would. I'd say that's an awfully violent resolution, wouldn't you? Who are you? Me? Um, I've never been one for introductions. Right hand, that's a claw. You must be the claw that Vaughn's been pursuing. Yes, you do like to call me that. Loose Lampurge orders you. Claw, obey my orders. Of course, he's going to be immune. You're wasting your time. A Gios won't work on me. What? I've been acquainted with your order for, oh, quite a while now. I had them warred me against it. Kukri and crew. Oh, goodness, it's been forever since anyone called me that. See, too, you know this man? He's been a supporter of the order from before I was its master. That's about all I know, though. Never imagined he would be the man Van was pursuing. C2, get no lead to the Gekko Isui now. Now, now, you don't need to be so guarded. We just want to have a talk, that's all. But what a peaceful and happy world would look like. We're getting out of here now. This man's dangerous. We've been informed by Your Highness Cornelia that Princess Nunnally is awoken. If doesn't he want to go see Nunnally? He's got some stuff to do. Let's him be for now. The see, so the claw was there. Sorry, Vaughn, there was nothing I could do. Don't sweat, it's my job to put him six feet under and nobody else's. He was clearly an enemy to me as well. What? That man had an eeriness beyond reckoning. There's no question he will be a blight upon the world. I'll be remaining with the dry crews to stop him. The zero requiem failed to bring lasting peace to the world, so the responsibility to make it right falls to me. Of course, I don't know how long I'll be able to linger in this world regardless. Now then, Lelouch, from today onward, you and I are both zero. Suzaku? Your sins are mine, so let's find this peace we desire together. Lucia, this is your new battle, is it? Not one of atonement, but a search for what you can do for the future. You're strong. Miracle Worker Zero, he's definitely going to make a powerful ally, but I really think we can trust him? Don't sweat it. If he starts acting stupid, I'll cut him in half easy. Not that I think it'll be a problem. You do actually trust him, don't you? No, not quite. He knows about the claw, that's all. Well, in that case, Tamaki and I will also accompany the Dry Crews. Mayor Zero is the loyal Shinichiro Tamaki won't be far. I suppose I'll be coming along as well. Jeremiah. Of course we will accompany you as well, Lord Lelouch. Sadly, my nightmare frame was damaged, but I'm sure I can find other ways to be evade. You have my thanks. I'll be needing all of you in the days to come, I'm sure. How about you, Vaughn? Are you with us? Not like I think you'd listen to me if I said I was against all this. You're right about that. The man is no longer your problem alone. Whenever floats your boat, just remember at the end of the day, his head is mine. Of course. Did you want to know what lies beyond revenge? I'll help you find that answer for yourself. Just don't forget, your enemy might be far more horrifying foe than you think. Good works, rescuing honorary WHA consultant Nunnally. Let us handle things from here. What happened to Zilkstan? Reviewing King Shalios escape beyond its borders as an effective abdication. Henceforth, the Earth Federation will step in to manage the Zilkstani political administration. Does that mean that Zilkstan would be joining the Federation? If there's a domination or harmonious collaboration, well, unfortunately that will be up to interpretation. However, I believe in the principles of the Federation, it's focused on the free will of individuals. 
We don't have time to get sentimental, though. The dry crews will be departing for Jupiter with GGG. So, after a defeat at the Battle of Ceres, the Wolgaru are commencing their invasion of the Earth Sphere. But, conversely, their main base in the vicinity of Jupiter has been relatively silent. GGG believes this is our best chance. The Project Z is about to begin. GGG has already made all the necessary preparations. As soon as you're all ready, you're to rendezvous with them at Jupiter's Omegas base. Depending on the situation, we may mandate you go directly to Jupiter, however. Understood. We swear we will serve to the best of our abilities. We're counting on you, Commander Mitsuba. I believe that the Dry Crews will be cha will a world-changing force. We will live up to the, your expectation, we will, to bring the world together. We got... <laughs> Orange! Yeah, <laughs> yeah figure. Okay, those th we just suddenly got three more supporters from that. I'm not complaining, mind you, but holy crap. Also, sweet Jesus, that was a long mission. Okay, no new <laughs> side missions. To into the Gateway of Demise on Jupiter next. Yeah, no new side missions there. As you might imagine, this is after 10. It's about time for us to finish. Where is... Let's get that. Oh, we keep the Lancelot Albion Zero. Oh, there, there he is. So, Absolute Zero Beam shoots even farther now and is slightly stronger. Not bad. Well, admittedly, not all that great either. Um, where's someone else? I was. Th oh, right, Volts Five. There V. Whoops. That's the exact same one as Combatler. Alrighty. Yeah, it looks like we're about at the part where I start upgrading other suits. Holy crap! Ain't that amazing? I guess we'll save that for another time. So, with that, thank y'all for coming on out. Hopefully I'll see you all again tomorrow. As, well, hopefully we can go meet up with the GGG and get Gao Gai Gar back. Because I'm pretty sure Gao Gai Gar will be at the end of uh, this whole side plot. Either way, see y'all later.